Hey guys, we are here to review Marvel's latest show on Disney Plus, uh, Echo, which is um, a sort of a spinoff of uh, Hawkeye and, by extension, a little bit of Daredevil. Now, obviously, Disney uh, has been seeing some diminishing returns mm. on the MCU. Uh, they're worried. Uh, the audience seems to be um, waning uh, recently on uh, the greater universe. And here comes Echo, which is, I always, you know, I've seen the trailers and I talk shit a little bit. It's like, I don't know who Echo is. I don't care about Echo. Why does this character get their own series kind of thing? Um, and that comes mainly because I, I don't really follow the Daredevil comic storyline. Um, this Echo was one of... Uh, Marvel's most recent new characters, I think just some, sometimes in the 90s, 1999, around then, is when Echo appeared in the Daredevil comic series uh, with some, some pretty cool powers. You can look at her like a female Taskmaster, right? Mm -hmm. Alex, she's got some um, copy. She's got great combat techniques. Oh, wait, uh, this, this character in this show? Yeah, or, that's different. Oh, uh, they oh. change her powers oh, here. She also has like yeah. Phoenix Force or something yeah. in the comics, and can be a vessel for cosmic power or something like that. I'm I'm not sure. It's which really kind of seems what they're setting up here. Yeah, it was really cool to know that she's really cool elsewhere. <laughs> I'm glad you explained that. Okay, so I guess you can see kind of how our impressions are so far. But to finish setting it up, um, you know, it seems like interest is waning. And Marvel has chosen, uh, I don't know if this is great timing, to do a series on a character that is pretty much niche of a niche of a niche like e like nobody knows anything about echo unless you're a true comic book fan and even as a comic book fan you have to be a comic book fan of the ncu of the daredevil of and then my we're going really deep basically yes. even guardians of the galaxy i would say is probably more popular than some of these other uh, crazy ones uh before before they came out so when you're doing that i feel like the audience is going to be small uh, also, recently, we've got South Park making fun of, you know, <laughs> Disney with, uh, you know, uh, put a chick news. in it, and, you know, make her gay, these kinds of things that have become memes at this point, female empowerment in the MCU, as some corners of YouTube would call it. So I feel like, uh, you know, some people might have looked at this series and said, I see what this is. This is uh, diversity, female empowerment, just a, a message here. And some people might have dismissed it or rather wanted it to fail before it came out. Um, these are kind of some of the discourse around it. And then yeah. some comic book fans were excited about Echo. I know when I did my trailer reaction, I got shit on because it's like, I'm not really excited. And they're like, how could you pass Echo? Is this? And I was like, I don't, I don't know <laughs> about Echo. How dare you? Uh, how dare you kind of <laughs> thing but um you know so it seemed like some some wanted it to fail i am tepid i didn't have a horse in the race i um i just didn't i didn't think that echo would be that interesting Same. Well, i could care less like whenever you saw the trailer it's like yeah. yeah if we do a review cool if yeah. not like i I wouldn't it seems mind. to me that I was more excited for every single other character that was going to appear in this series besides Echo. So in our own series, I'm like, where's Daredevil? Or in, uh, where's, where's Fisk? You know, because I, I believe that actor does such an amazing job as, as, as Fisk. It's good to see Charlie return. And uh, because of this series, we now have a momental uh, announcement. And they put it up on, uh, they put all of the Netflix uh, series, uh, we're talking Jessica Jones, we're talking Nick Cage, uh, like Nick Cage, Luke Fuck Cage, yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, Iron Fist, the Defenders are now MCU I'm sorry, canon. Who, who, Iron Fist? Oh, yeah, yeah, Iron That's Fist. Cool. It's canon now, That's Joe. Cool. <laughs> I didn't watch it. Maybe they should have left that one behind. That but, was bad. Uh, That's yeah. bad band. <laughs> so uh, it's officially canon now. So that, that Fist that we've seen in, in Netflix, uh, that more brutal one, uh, is now the official version over here, though it seemed like he was a little lighter in Hawkeye. This one is more brutal. This one feels more like the original fist that we're used to. Um, and then, so, okay, so you have all that going for it. It seems 
which isn't much. It seems like it's just going to be a failure out of the gate. Very small audience numbers. You're splitting that small potential audience amongst people that are annoyed with diversity or, or female leads. And then you have... Uh, so Marvel decided to maybe pump it up with a new thing called Marvel Spotlight, which is supposedly, and you even see the logo in front of it, supposedly supposed to be more mature stories, a little darker, grittier. You're going to see some blood. It's rated uh, TV mature. In fact, uh, in front of this episode, they were like, viewer discretion advised. They have one of those little sensor uh, uh, warnings there. So this is supposedly supposed to be a step towards more violence in uh, MCU. And I think that Marvel really needs that. So what I was hoping for the series is that it would have a darker tone it would justify itself it would be like yes let's get a little bit more mature and violent in this if we're going to go and do something like this very niche side project yeah. unfortunately i feel that it misses that mark i don't think that he earns the 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 marvel spotlight uh you know premise here now there's two episodes left okay so this review is going to be for the first three episodes and then we will also review the next two episodes in the same video, but um, let's just uh, review these first three. So uh, talking on the first three, I felt like um, the violence wasn't enough for me. It's good to see more violence on, on Disney Plus and in these because everybody's going to compare these with the Netflix, Daredevil, you know, Jessica Jones, these types of things where the combat was great there. It was more brutal. Unfortunately, um, Echo, I don't think lives up to those. Um, no. They come right out of the gate with a fight scene uh, between Echo and Daredevil, which is something we need to talk about. But so that's my overall sort of intro on this, that at least for the first three episodes, for me, this was um, flat. Came out flat. What do you guys think? Um... I thought I was going to like hate it. I don't hate it. Yeah. I'm actually kind of intrigued a bit. Uh, first episode's recap, so I was like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then we started kind of moving along, and I tapered my expectations with the whole blood stuff. So I was like, actually kind of shocked that we actually got what we got. Mm. So, so you're coming uh, from the other angle. Yeah. See, I had read a lot about this new Marvel spotlight and but how they're again, going to make Disney, it different though. from other things. And for me, it wasn't different enough. But when you are not exposed to any of that, you're like, wait a minute, that's the first time I've actually seen some blood here. Yeah, because like you so see, walking it by, you see like you. blood splat. Yeah. Like I think it's a baby step. And, it is. It and, is. And it's going to be, okay, now I that's see I was, why Marvel did it like that. That's what I was thinking. it's easing Joe in. They're, like, easing into it. I was like, okay, well, I'm not expecting, like, a whole bunch of fucking glow or, like, gore yeah. and a whole bunch of, like, blood scenes. It's Disney, so they're, like, going to kind of tease a, a little bit of it. Um, I'm just finding it, like, like an average mm -hmm. revenge plot. And I'm all for revenge yeah. plot. I'm like, okay, cool. Are the characters likable? So far, I am liking some of these characters. Yes. So I'm like... I'm along for the Surprising. ride. Surprising, okay. Yeah, I don't hate it. Um, Do you like um, Maya Lopez? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Joe Lopez? Lopez. <laughs> I think one of my favorite parts of this series is the Lopez family. I like the Lopez family. The Lopez family, family is the amazing. The grandpa yes. is alone. This actor who has been... Anytime there's an Indian role, this guy is in it, and he does an Graham excellent... Graham Green. Yeah. Graham Green, yes. man. I could just watch him all he day. He is in my favorite, obviously, yeah. by far. But I think uh, Maya's doing a great job uh, um, like kicking ass mm -hmm. yeah so i'm i'm actually enjoying it okay i started off where you're at mm -hmm. um and i was you know i wasn't looking forward to this like but when they said that hey we're gonna do our our version of daredevil and we're gonna co-release this on hulu because it's too violent and I was like, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah, that's where I, I was at. I like it. I didn't read into it. I, I, no. so, well, I mean, they just announced it right off the bat. And so, like, in the trailer, they're like, hey, this is going to be on Hulu because it's too violent. It's like, okay, I like violence. I like the idea of, I don't care about Echo. I didn't know I had to look up who Echo was. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, you're going to do it's Echo really trying to take over, you know, the Fisk organization. That could be interesting. So I was intrigued by it. And then it starts off not so bad. We just finished episode three. And I don't think that this is a good show. And I think that they actually squandered uh, actually an okay opportunity because I think that the overall story is interesting. I think the characters are interesting. 
Uh, and I like the potential for violence, but this is a fucking cartoon, and I think that the people who wrote and are yeah, directing this show it. have no yeah. fucking idea what they're doing. And this is going to be one of those things where they're going to lose like sixty to a hundred million dollars on this thing. It's not going to be like Secret Invasion where it's two hundred million. But yeah, this I is, don't know how much. So let me look it up. Go ahead. This is not good television. This is like beyond <laughs> bad cartoon. I mean, we're talking like Looney Tunes level action scenes stuff that just doesn't make any sense there's a scene earlier on when they first walk up to the the roller rink and they start the song 45 seconds too early and it's just awkward like oj looks over me he's like what is going on and it's just like this is amateur hour horse shit and what sucks is it has nothing this show isn't bad because there's a female lead and I, a lot of people are like well, you don't like it because no i like, like MGU. If, a, if a woman came in and what could and especially if she's taskmaster kick everyone's ass give it to me all day yeah. this is bad because it's bad it's not bad because there's a woman in it it's bad because the showrunners are stupid and the people directing the doing the cinematography i don't think are very good this if you want if you watch an episode a single episode of daredevil and then you watch an episode of this mm. it's you're gonna it's, see yeah. it's gonna drop off quite hard so yeah. i found that it's a total budget of 40 million dollars for five oh it's episodes. it's so it's cheap yeah, okay they made they're gonna cheap. lose that money because yeah. this is not a good television show i don't think it's a good comic book i don't think if you're looking for action you're not going to get it. Maybe it's in the last two. We haven't watched all right, of Right, so the, the preface this way, right we're, we're about to watch the next two just in a few hours. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, yeah, I actually see, I, I love that you guys have two different opinions here. Yeah, like I think I yeah. kind of end up in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, the fight scenes are embarrassing, but there's some good moves every once in a while, right? So it's, it's like, there. what's happening here? And then, and then we get a scene like this train sequence, which is the embarrassing CGI. Just looks shitty. And or the roller skate room. The roller sequence. The roller is... skate fight. There's, like I said, uneven for me. I know you hated it, but I felt there was some good things in 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 between. Laser targeted. Okay, we'll get there. All right. So, oh, okay. So let's actually um, – let's go ahead and uh, give uh, our verdict for the first three episodes because originally we got sent this, but we never had time to watch it. So what I would have done is I would have made a video and then rated it and then watched the last two and rated it. So as it stands right now, let's give a rating of where, where I'm at. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. uh, after these three episodes, I thought the first episode – was interesting, strong, okay. We get to fight, but then the fight was done kind of poorly, but then good at moments. The pacing is all over the place. Half of it is setting up what you know what we've already seen like a previously on, but I understand yeah, that you yeah. need to do that because yeah. for people that didn't watch the five different you know Marvel series, they don't know what's going on. So it, it kind of a half start, but yet good in elements. And then from me, for me from there, it just goes down, you know? And, and the only thing's really holding it up, I enjoy the Choctaw angle. I, I like seeing Native American stuff. I think I just love Aztecs. It's not Aztecs, it's Choctaw, but just the culture. The, they even play yeah. a fucking sports game way back in the day I, thought, I found fascinating. And there's maybe mystical powers. I don't know what's happening here. Maybe they can tie that into Thor and some of these other things, but... But so that and the Lopez family has got me more interested uh, right You're now. Welcome. I know. You're I like welcome. the Lopez's. Uh, Nothing but trouble. Yeah. Um, it's true. And then the fights are, you know, flawed. And then I'm hoping for the potential of Fisk. But he's really not in these first three that much. Mm. Right at the end of episode three is when Fisk shows up. So I'm hoping these next two episodes ramp up. But where I'm at right now, I'm at a five out of ten. Uh, I'll go right in the... In fact, no, actually, I think where I'm at right now is a 4 out of 10. Because um, I'm really just having a lot of hope for the next two episodes. Where are you guys? Uh, I am at a 5. Uh, the four, the first episode was just like a recap, so I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, it's whatever. We're going to got to get caught up anyways. Mm -hmm. So I was just like... Uh, the moment I did like was a fight, but even then it was kind of... at some glimmer of hope with some of the fight scenes yeah. throughout this. Um, we'll go in depth in each episode yes. here in a second. So it's gonna be vague. Um, I like some of the fight scenes, but it does have its flaws. The characters I really like. I enjoyed seeing them on camera. Uh, the grandpa's amazing. Maya's not doing so bad, and mm -hmm. that's what 
that's what's kind of uh, has me intrigued as well with their powers and what's, what they're going to do with it. Yeah. But again, like Alex said, you fuck it up at the end. The third episode, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what is this? Like, he said amateur hour, and then they, they get caught, and we're just, like, laughing at these fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the third, it's kind of pissed me off. Yeah. So I'm at a five. Okay. Alex? I'm not too far for, are off from you. Uh, I think episode five is, like, we're talking, like, two territory. Or yeah, episode three, I'm sorry. That's my so, worst. Yeah. yeah, and so, but it actually starts off okay. And I was like, hey, mm-hmm. this show ain't so fucking bad. Maybe this, we're going to go in this direction. It's going to yeah. get darker. We're going to get into the nitty gritty. And that is not the direction that we go in episode two or three at all. So I think in, like, episode one, I'm feeling six. And then it really starts to drop in episode two. Don't give it away. We're gonna go in, into each of those three. <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna do we're gonna each yeah, individual. Yeah, yeah, tiny ones. Yeah, quick. Oh, so uh, this is just for the first three episodes. Yeah, the I, rating I, of where you're at right now. I, I man, three is so bad. It brings down every any good that they did in the first two. Yeah, that me so off I'm too. at like a three or four. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll give another rating yeah. at the end of the whole thing. So three or four. Yeah. What are you at? Oh, just. Give it, give it to us. <laughs> uh, probably a three. Episode okay. three is so bad that whoever is in charge of it shouldn't be making TV shows. Ouchie. Okay. <laughs> so it's... Uh, that's where we're at right now after the first three episodes. We are going to watch the next two episodes right now, in fact. But before we do that, let's go into the episode breakdown. Mm-hmm. So um, welcome to the episode breakdown. So episode one. I think we all mostly like, other than the fact that a yeah. lot of it is catching up. You, you've got Maya's past here before she met Fisk. You've got Maya under Fisk's command and, and the moment that she snaps that guy's neck, the music kicks in and she's now a criminal, you know, and she's in this underground empire. Uh, and then we get a daredevil fight, which we'll talk about. And then, uh, and then... Then she wants to be the queen pin, <laughs> the queen. Uh, okay, so we've got that all yeah. happened in episode one. She shoots Fisk. Yeah, yeah. that's how it ends. So uh, it starts with a, a Choctaw intro. You know, you know, you've got the lore. It's these people made of clay uh, that were born from this this mystic pool or whatnot, and then the world seems to crumble or something. And and one one of them kind of takes up a leadership position, a female. And she leads the um, the tribe out of uh, you know into the world, and it seems like they're born into the world. So this is a, like a creationism story from the Choctaw lore, and this I, I hear does an amazing job. They even sent scripts to the Choctaw tribe. And it's interesting because I actually just came from the Choctaw. I I went up to Broken Bow for a vacation uh, just last year, and they had the you know they had the Choctaw casinos, and they had a bunch of Choctaw lore that I went out and you know at the parks and was reading. So this is really cool because I, I I'm close to it. So I like pretty much all of the Native American stuff that they're featuring in the series. I think it gives it an interesting dynamic that I'm not used to and I haven't seen a lot. So that part, those parts are fascinating to me. And I'm wondering how they tie this in to Echo. And apparently these little ridiculous, like, little swirls on her yeah. hands glow. I'm like, that's a little <laughs> <laughs> kind of dumb. But I see what it's they're doing. They're trying to, to later, say yeah, that yeah. all of their, her ancestors, she has the bloodline. Yes. And so all of these women figures from the past empower her. There's some kind of force. We'll call it maybe the Phoenix Force. I think that's what it's called in the comics, but I'm not sure. Um, and that's how to explain this. Because without all this stuff, like I have no remember, I have no idea who ne- Echo is. So when I was seeing the trailer and I was seeing why is Echo fighting with Daredevil? How is she able to keep up with him? Not knowing anything. I'm like, this sucks. This is ridiculous. If you're making snack judgments like that because you're ignorant and you've never read any of the comics, then you're going to be like, oh, the MCU, they're just trying to female empowerment. and they're just beating up Daredevil. <laughs> but no, if you know the comics, number one, Alex, she's got the powers like Taskmaster. Yeah, she watches you fight. She can meet, but in this, she doesn't not have this. that. Right, not and this. This, and this is what I'm trying to get to. Where, where, where does her combat prowess come from? She was in karate classes. She's like a yellow belt or something <laughs> when she was like seven years old. 
That's the explanation. I guess they tie it into the fact that the ancient warriors, the Choctaw warriors, are within her from her ancestors, mm -hmm. and so that empowers her a little bit more. And it does seem, and they feature this in episode two, we'll get to it, that she has some kind of super strength. But anyways, uh, as he's grooming her to become, you know, in, in her criminal empire, he assigns her to um, a hit. And... This this scene, they try to do it in one shot, you know, but you can see where they kind of cut things together here. But it's an interesting shot. The, the the two men dress in black go in, they start kicking ass, and then they start to get beat up. And Maya's... Because she's not doing anything. Yeah, Maya's kind of, like, shocked and, and not, not contributing. But as soon as one of the guys attacks her and gets her involved, that's when she makes the decision right there. And that's as she breaks the guy's neck. And almost as soon as she breaks a guy's neck, she starts kicking ass, and that's, boom, Daredevil shows up. <laughs> and it was so cool at first. You get the little fucking pose that Daredevil is in straight yeah, from the comics. That in the first I'm like, episode. oh, that's so, yeah, me neither. I thought they were going to save this reveal for, like, episode, <laughs> last episode, right? <laughs> so I was very happy with this until they started fighting. I mean... Some of the hits are good. I seen on the internet people are like completely shitting all over this. This is like, you know, Mickey Mouse time or whatever. And oh, her kicks are she she's slow on her kick. It's like I think that was purposeful. I thought it was, she was doing where a she she kicks and then hesitates and then hits. She's, I mean, it's she's called a from soft bus. It's called a feint. She's fainted a kick and then she did the kick. But I think maybe the reason why people are like, is because it wasn't filmed well enough maybe the cinematographer or, or whatever capturing hour. the action it, it's it doesn't come across as they think it's coming across a lot of the punches and kicks do miss now i've seen people defend oh if you look at the netflix version of daredevil if you really analyze it he does he's missing in fact that one time where he's punching oh, face bad. that's really bad right so, yeah. but but that series had already earned it's chops by then, so we were forgiving. This is a series that you have to do, you have to overcompensate because you have a woman, you know, and you got all these guys, that are like, this, is, this is ridiculous, she'd never beat Daredevil. Um, but she and so you have to do this particular, oh, she beats Daredevil in this scene, which, you know, I had a problem with, but upon learning her powers, I'm like, okay, maybe I don't have a problem with it. Because Daredevil essentially retreats in this battle. He's like, He's surprised. At first, he's playing with her. You can see he's kind of playing with her. And then he realizes that she is beating him. And so he retreats. And she beats him. And there's this, in fact, there's a really weird moment. And I understand. So I'm telling you that this fight is poorly done. There's CGI in the fight. I had to rewind it multiple times. When Daredevil does the, the twist jump through a, um, a shelving unit, I thought that was cool. It was right out of the comics. And he uh, falls on the floor. She goes past him. And he stands up. And it's pure CGI of him. Say, it's mm. such a... And I'm like, how did they even do that? Because once he stands, he's now a, he's now Charlie Cox. But when he stood up and, and just watched the leg, I'm going to play it here for you. Something looks wrong. If this is a real person, then... I don't know how they fucked it up to where it looked unnatural. It looked like CGI. But in my, is it just me or does this look like CGI to you? Y'all guys tell me. And so that ruined kind of a little bit of this, this initial fight. Especially since in this moment of the series, we don't know how powerful she is. Yeah. So I don't buy the fact that she can beat the fuck out of, uh, out of Daredevil. And Daredevil has to essentially throw a shelving unit on her and fucking retreat and not even do, finish doing what he needs to do. He just leaves. Um, well, yeah. What did y'all guys think of the fight? I thought he just left. He's like, well, you ruined my plan. There's so nothing, there's yeah, nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing there. for me yeah. here. I didn't I, take I it. Wanna, what's the, that's what's the, the way point I in thought, fighting them? And that's what, how I took beats, it as. It's like, look, whatever. I'm going to throw this at you and I'm fucking gone. Okay. You, you ruin, call it a draw then. Yeah. Because He says, well, he says, uh, Fisk says, he's like, oh, I'm surprised you actually held your own. Most people don't. And right. Alex thinks that. she, she kicks her ass, and that's not true. He, because... threw a, he threw a metal shelf on her. If he wanted to kill her or beat her, he absolutely yeah, would. There's just nothing. What was he to gain? So you get th like uh, those shelving units are heavy. Like if you, if someone throws that I'm on expecting, me... I guess I, my expectations were wrong because I thought Daredevil was going to come in here and 
accomplish an objective. You're just it's saying really. he went in. Then why did he wait so fucking long? If he's gonna, if he's casing the whole place, he doesn't do anything when people are getting shot, and he shows up at the end just to fight the girl and then leave. Those two. That's guys. what he said. Well, that's, I mean, that's yeah. literally what he said. He's like, I just came here it. to uh, punch you. He, no, he said no. that you ruined everything. So yes. now I, my goal is done. I can't do anything because you've already ruined so then, everything. So then why did he burst in and because fight? It was a cool scene. He could have just left. Because they needed a cool fight scene, scene with. Okay, Charles got Stone. it. So yes. it was pointless in the first yes. place. Got yes. it. So that's what I was picking up on. Yeah. Go ahead. And so the problem problem after here is then then we start getting intercuts of Hawkeye and it's the this is it wouldn't have made as much sense for them to do the previously on way before mm -hmm. but it, it felt really awkward even in the first episode that they kind of put it in there um, and then she you know she loses a fight with Ronan and he's like hey Fisk is the one who killed your dad it wasn't me and then she shoots Fisk because of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then she mysteriously has a wound and five months later and we don't know where it came from. That was very awkward. Yeah. And so it's like, how <laughs> could you be a director and, and then watch this in the editing room and go, my, why is my audience not confused by this? Yeah, you know? It's, it's, it's five, five months like, later. And it's so like, you're telling me you had a wound for five months. This cannot be the case. It, I think we have a scene missing here on the cutting yeah, room floor. Maybe agree. when she's traveling from one city to the next, something happens we didn't see. But we're three episodes in, and we still don't know, don't what, know what happened. That came from. So you see, there's something with the pacing and yeah. the storytelling in episode one that felt disjointed. Yeah. So episode, and it's the best, in my opinion, it's the best episode because we kind mm -hmm. of figure out what's going on here, right? You know, so it's she's she's deaf. Her family cared about her very much. Her dad was mixed up in the uh, worst bad guys ever in the MCU. Yeah. And I that's saying something because I no 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 no. Did you say the worst bad guys ever? Oh, which ones? Uh, the the, uh, the, the, the I, Fisk is not the worst. No, I love guy. Fisk. I yes, love, no, like no. It. But her dad was the red jumpsuit from Hawkeye that got defeated by the fencing oh, the, club. Oh, yeah, the, and the, the cartoon mm -hmm. characters, uh, tracksuit mafia, Trax yeah. tracksuit mafia. I think they're awful. Yeah, and yeah. he was a tracksuit mafia guy, mm -hmm. and so it's like that's how you know they got mixed in. Yeah. He was a Lopez. Her her grandfather wasn't Lopez. He was. Well, he was not all he of us are good. Not all the Lopez are good. All right, so then we got you know, like I said. So my opinion on the fight was as uneven and I'd, I'd, I'd uh, a disappointment. Yeah. Opinion on the fight? It was fine, but... Opinion on the fight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hoping it was purposefully awkward because it's her very first fight, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's not that wasn't the case. But not the worst fight you've ever seen in your life. No, no. no. Okay, because that's how some people are reacting online. It's not. I just want to get our man. You watch like there's stuff. Um, in so Marvel no course. emotion uh, right now at that moment. After we have all of these, I I wrote down here. I just don't yet have any emotions for the Echo character. I'm hoping she wins me over, but I'm feeling nothing. Um, and in fact, I like pretty much everyone but her, and I'm hoping that she'll grow on me as we go along. And she is. A little spoilers there. She is, but. Um, initially you would think that, you know, the, the, the way they went about it, that let's get me on board with her quicker rather than, than later. Anyway, anyway, she goes back home, uh, and she speaks with her uncle, cousin Henry. Yeah. Her cousin Henry. Um, and she basically says that she wants to fill the void and become the queen, the queen pin. Right. <laughs> so then uh, uh, and just as she makes this, he's like, look, no, what the, I can't do this. And then we see a scene of Fisk breathing. Fisk is back. So anyways, by the end of it, because I had read all the stuff on uh, Marvel Spotlight and stuff, I was the supposed violence rating and even the warning in front of the episode. I was disappointed. Um, mm. You know, I think it Debilitated. needs to push the dark and the violent more. Um, here it's a step towards that, but I don't even know if I can call it a step. It's more like a tr a, a baby. It's a baby step. I I, I thought it was a step because again, in for in, in episode head, one, in my head, like this it's is fucking the only Disney, thing I can so think I of surprised. in episode one uh, of anything dark or gritty is, uh, I guess somebody does somebody's coffee gets shot. A guy gets shot in the head. She uses the the guy, guy, She tries to fire a shotgun at Daredevil, and that yeah, looked ridiculous. Yeah, they got shot up, and then the there's, guy gets his neck snapped. There's blood. Yeah, she, 
They do blood pools, yeah. which we're not used to yes. seeing on Disney+. That's Plus. We're not used to I'm, seeing... It yeah. seems to be CGI out. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. using they're using their own people as human shields. Right. They're using bad guys as human shields with, with getting shot. So it's like, I think it's a step in the right direction. Yes. To we're getting a taste of yeah. the Netflix style, but I want it to go a little further. Yeah. This feels like the dollar store version of the Netflix style to okay. me. All right, so that episode, I am going to rate a 5 out of 10. I think it's flawed. I think some things are working. Some things aren't working. The pacing, the flashbacks were not working. The fight scene, there were some cool moves, but mostly it was, seemed awkward. I loved, by the way, seeing his batons and the, um, mm -hmm. the wire between them. He didn't really use that in Netflix, and here he used it. So it feels a little more comic accurate. That's that influence from the MCU, the Marvel. They usually get their characters right. Except for when these the other characters, they change their powers and shit. Yeah. I don't know why. Don't know. Uh, anyways, um, what, so I'm going to go with a 5 out of 10 for episode 1. What are, you, what are you doing? Yeah, I feel the same way. I think it's, it's uh, you know, this was the first one where you get in and you were watching and you're like, I don't know how to feel. Let's see where this goes. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's mm -hmm. definitely not the best thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I honestly felt at the end of this is like, hey, this could and probably should get better, you mm -hmm. know, if it's more violent and we do, like, a really cool revenge-type story. Yeah. It encouraged me. I it, was like, all right, let's see It's more. not horrible. Five all around. Five, Five all around. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, episode two uh, takes a dip almost immediately. Now, I've seen people criticize it. Oh, it slows down incredibly. It's just a bunch of talking. Now, to me, it doesn't bother me as much because this is the episode where it does it on purpose. It slows things down so we can get to know our characters and set them up a little bit more mm -hmm. now. We're getting into the nitty gritty here. Unfortunately, a lot of it was not that compelling. So the cool things here to me is the potential of Fisk and I like the Native American stuff. So these are the highlights. Right, and then in this episode is where the they kind of earned the Lopez. Ish. The Lopez is really carry episode two for me. Uh, we get the uh, game scene. Um, we get uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, not game scene. Uh, the, the grandpa and his shop does the, oh no, we get we do get the game. We get the, uh, the ancient uh, lacrosse, lacrosse game, game yes. which I thought was cool. Uh, they have this, uh, this tiny little girl go up against this this huge muscular <laughs> warrior and uh, who by the way i mean they were kicking ass the whole game and then and then all of a sudden this guy comes from a hut what happened there was he sleeping you pull did he your, show up to you the pull game your late? starters if it's not if it's not serious <laughs> well, it must have been a serious <laughs> game cuz it was like 9 to 1 9 to 2 and then yeah. when that guy gets on the field they're about to win until she this warrior this female warrior uh, taps into the ancient power and uh, is able to win the game for him <laughs> you know she's very very tough very warrior like we get it um, then we go to Grandpa in the shop. I love this scene. I actually liked the game scene too. I I, I, I bought liked it. it too. I liked, no, it, I liked too. it. Just because just it's a female it winning, cool. we we understand what they're doing. They're setting up here that um, her ancestors ancestor, has a bloodline, yeah. and it just so happens that these are female ancestors. Um, and it was interesting to see. I'm I'm glad somebody finally filmed something like that. I'm sure they have in other you know documentaries and stuff. But I I've done research on uh, you know the the Mayans that had their own game, and it's just cool to see that kind of stuff. So then we go to Grandpa in the shop. Hilarious scene. Yes. By the damn thing. By the <laughs> damn thing. He's just kind of putting on a show for the fucking tourists yeah. <laughs> coming through. And uh, he's great. Yeah. Love this. Guy. They want rugs instead. He's like, all right, get, get on out of here but then biscuits or whatever his biscuits. name is helps him make the sale and i'm like all right i like grandpa i don't, I don't think i really like biscuits he feels more like just kind of forced comedy forced grandpa comedy. is like natural comedy and this is because the talent of that actor um what's his name i got i pull it up here um uh, it was, uh, yeah, Graham Green. Graham, Graham Green. Green. Yeah. Just to love him. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so this episode is Maya basically establishing herself back in her hometown. She does this train, this whole train thing. She gets biscuits to do what? Uh, Alex, take over. Yeah, he, he, she sends him on a shopping list. She's like, I need a USB camera. I need this. I need this. Because she's going to, she knows that her uncle mm -hmm. uh who runs a skate 
uh, like a roller rink. Old school nineties. Uh, yeah. Also oversees like some of the the train uh, stuff going mm, going on in the town. Yeah. And so she's like, "Hey, you're shipping stuff for Fisk." Uh, and they don't clue us in on what it is, so we just see her using stuff that they got at the because the, the the grandfather owns like a pawn shop um, mm-hmm. type thing, and so he just happens to have all of this like spy equipment and stuff. And then she he's made... very handy. It reminded me of uh, George Lopez in uh, fucking Blue Beetle. Yeah. How do you have these things? But he just has them in <laughs> the Lopez shot. Thing. Like yeah. the, the Lopez's <laughs> have you know well, big cameras, and then he's got small cameras and no. smaller and smaller. He's part of the family. Yeah. The no, they hate the Lopez family, though. Yeah, but is he, no, no, cause they're, he's separated from his wife now, but yeah. No, so the, uh, Maya's dad was a Lopez. Yes. But her, her grandfather and her grandmother oh, yeah, are yeah, not Lopez. Yeah, 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 it's true. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she, she does this dumbass heist. She breaks in there, and she cuts through using, like, a James Bond, like, tor- like torch, and then she seals it up with flex seal, mm-hmm. and then no one ever notices, and she... It turns out she had planted a bomb in a bunch of uh, RPG um, or explosives or something, or something. <laughs> and to, to blow up the sabotaging armory. fists operation. It apparently, blows up his armory in that particular area. Yeah, and so sending that's, a message. That's the the whole kind of thing. We're kind of kept in the dark as the audience of like specifically what she's doing until the it's very end. It's just stupid though. And then they do this fucking truck and and the fucking they film it like Fast and Furious. Yeah, and I'm just rolling my eyes. Then the truck, and then she gets she. Not only is she jumping across, it, it's like, did you measure the wire before you did that or whatever? Yeah, and then you got too. the CG. I jump from the thing to thing. People are just idiots. Um, and then Biscuits comes up. And well, before it, that, though, yeah. don't forget. Yeah. Uh, she's uh, escaping, and but her leg gets stuck in the train. Yeah. And then she starts getting her powers. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And she can't forget that. She, that. She, this she, is the first that time ridiculous. she uses her powers. Echo she's like, hand powers stuck. revealed. And then yeah. she pushes the little train. So she does enough. have super strength in yes. this. I, I, I don't That's, think this is in the comics. I think this is how they kind of change her is, powers. It's yeah. more implied that it's... Uh, you know, she's using experience and drawing from her ancestors, but here it's like literally empowerment when she focuses yeah. Yeah. and she, she can break stuff. Gloves, like, what's going on? Kind of hokey. Everything, everything in this episode sounds great on paper. It's like, oh, cool. She needs to get in there. She's planning on to blow up the armory. She wants to take over for Kingpin. She needs the help of her cousin to do it. Uh, I mean, everything makes sense on paper. I just don't think it's filmed particularly where it just it feels like a low budget Disney show because it's a low budget Disney show. And I would be shocked if you told me that the people in charge of directing this have worked on a bunch of action stuff in in the past, because I imagine this is probably like, you know, they've done short films or something because it doesn't feel like they know what they're doing. And it's it's kind of sad. Inherent cosmic powers. Okay, um, where where are we? So yeah, like I said, this oh, this truck, and then we'd have the truck scene where I guess it can't drive any faster than a train, and then she jumps off and yeah, but she uh, leaps completely over the, the truck. She did. It's just filmed which poorly. It doesn't make sense. It's just so you could be like, oh no, she didn't make the truck. Where is she? She's not under. Oh, she's okay. She's fine. I guess she's episode holding two. Holding on to the oh, tailgate. Yeah. yeah. Was she supposed? To? I don't. Sucks. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, and then so now Grandpa builds a leg for, her, and when they slow it down, and when they have the character base scenes, and when you've got a great actor like this mm-hmm. guy, then these work. Uh, he's one of the better parts of the series for me. And uh, she wants a war, so yeah, she wants a war. Oh, uh, episode she- two is the first time we get the awful intro song. I just hate this kind of music. It's not my music. If it's your kind of music, that's fine. It's just the intro sucks. It's not a particularly strong intro from all of the intros that we've seen over the course of these. Better than Secret uh, Invasion, though. Uh, natives in Alabama uh, uh, play... I don't know what note I'm making there. I guess I, I was talking about the lacrosse, uh, the the lacrosse. lacrosse scene. Yeah. And, um, Great scene. Yeah. So we do get a flashback to the god power, the ancient ones, which do empower her. And, uh, yeah. People you hurt scene. So then they, uh, her, uh, Henry comes by and is upset with her because she's essentially starting a war. And now Fisk's operation knows DX9, oh, that's our operation. We're in trouble. I got to fucking clean up your mess. Why are you starting a war? And she's like, why not? Uh, there's a power vacuum here. I I have the skills. I want to do it. Yeah. Will you join me? And he's like, I don't want any part of this. So I like that that's scene basically. as well, yeah. too. 
It's good. He's scene. like, look, you're starting a war. He's like, I, I start the war. I'm gonna end this. He's like, you sound like Fisk. Yeah. He's like, damn. It's like people are gonna get hurt. The ones yeah. closest to you. But um. Which but overall, happens. I felt this was one of the weaker ones. Why don't y'all take final verdicts on this one? Go first. Uh, I think this one's just a little below average. I, like I said before, I think it's everything works on paper. I just don't think it was. I don't think the right people are in charge to make this as exciting as it should be, as tight as it needs to be. Because when you're doing these like train heist scenes, like we use so many good examples out there, and you ignored every single one of them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know why these people got it. Yeah. Uh, no, I need a oh. rating. <clears throat> oh, four. Okay. I agree with four. Uh, I do like the beginning intro. It was fucking badass. I like that like, cross scene. Um, again, I love. Uh, huh. Maybe I'm Scully. raising my rating because I'm thinking about it. We like the we like the Native American. Like it didn't bother us the MC, MCU stuff. That no, was that's, fine. It's, it's, it was that's done fine. fine. Again, like it was. I like, think it was great uh, that that that. And then we get the no the train scene stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what brought it down for me yeah. big time as well. That, but again, Scully, like yeah, the right, acting Scully? from all of the yes. different people. Uh, he's doing a great job. I love every time he's in there, and I I'm I'm liking Henry. So mm -hmm. I'm behind Maya. Just so she could protect these guys. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm rooting for her yeah. to save your family. To save your your, your family. We'll just I call him the him. Lopez family, yeah, even his, though yeah. it's Scully. Is so he got to save him. So strange. I'm rooting for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four. Four. Yes. Four as well. That's what I was doing. Um, yeah. It, it, the pacing's a little bit different. The action scene that we get there, the set piece, did not work. It was held up by those performances. Yes. Uh, moving on to episode three. Okay, um, I think this is a low point. What do you think? It was a low point of my day for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah I absolutely. You want to tell you, I like the opening. I like that cheesy, the light horseman. So they do. They open yes. it with this silent film. We don't see enough of the silent film kind of thing. It's fun. It's it's comic booky. It's it's cheesy, and it's basically a short film and the next ancestor who we've seen flashes of is a sharpshooter. How is she a sharpshooter? Well, uh, in the territories, they have tribal police, and these tribal police were called the Light Horsemen, and there's a daughter of one of the Light Horsemen who trains with her father and is really good at shooting, and then she's But he never taught like, her about cover. They, ne they didn't take her to tell cover. They didn't tell her to take cover for some yeah, reason. Yeah, she, she stands Father was true. not that intelligent. Yeah, yeah. But, no, um, she wants to become a Light Horseman, <laughs> and she says this is work for men, not for women, so we get a little bit of that. Um, and she uh, gets upset and, you know, rides off and she wants to prove herself. And so we get a little short, little short story here, which I thought was, was fun. There are, there are themes of empowerment for, uh, for women and for natives and different cultures. And by extension, the rest of us, because just because it's a, a you know, a female, uh, in the lead or a native American in the lead doesn't mean that I can not identify with the idea of being, um, you know, being estranged from your family or being told that you can't do something and you feel like you can do. That's what you're good at, but you're told you can't do it. So these themes resonate. I thought it was a fun little intro. And that's kind of the thing we get before the logo smash. After that, though, it loses incredible steam and it goes into the cartoon that uh, that Alex was talking about. So I'll let him take over right now. So after we get that that um, little uh, silent film, what happens? Yeah, she's wandering the like a lake, uh, and all of a sudden she gets visited by the first Choctaw, mm -hmm. and uh, the this this. Her ancestor ghost. distracts her, uh, and because she's a ghost, it's and ghost. Yeah, the the ghost actually wants her to die, um, and be and so the ghost distracts her while so uh, badly that this this white white trash crew, I yeah, guess is what I don't, you call them. I don't know these Alabama. Uh, no, they're from Oklahoma. Oh, that's right. Why we're in yeah, Oklahoma? They're Oklahomies. Now. Yeah. Um, Oklahoma, like gra like grab some chlorophyll. So you got the, uh, the 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 skinny uh, the skinny one, the fat one, and the, the dumb one. The dumb one. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's three of them, and they chloroform her, and then they um, yeah that's yeah. It turns into a uh, it's it's a Three Stooges it, kind of thing. It's here. terrible. Oh, uh, before that, there was the flirt. I do like the flirting between Grandpa and and Grandma here. You know, because she visits his. She's like, Maya's in town, and you know this and that. He's like, I know, and. 
But, you know, every scene he's in, he steals. Okay. Yeah. They're but trying back to, do... to the cartoon. Yeah, they hang her upside down over the, the roller rink. Um, but they forget that, you know, they don't notice that she it, her leg is, um, you know, a prosthetic. And so it falls. And then she falls down. And then they just throw her in the back anyway. And then they, they use, like... With string to to tie her to something, and they're like, "We're not gonna watch you, but you but better not do anything." But it does make sense. You look better... at look at them, Alex. Yeah, look at all in common. Better not do are. anything bad. It is. It is. Yeah, the yeah. meth, the meth like, crew here. Some of it, I'm like, all right, whatever. Trailer right, trash. Like, like, you're, you're gonna go dumb. Be dumb. So Fuck you just you be beat dumb. up. <laughs> you beat 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 Daredevil to a standstill, uh, and then you get beat up and and well, captured okay. by the meth but, crew. Look, you could surprise up. Like, if you sneak up on me, I'm going to see a ghost. I'm going to be like, oh, holy shit, oh, that's okay. a fucking ghost. Yeah, the ghost, the ghost is trying to <laughs> that's, get her. That's what got me. All right. They uh, chloroformed her. Yeah. <laughs> and then it the, happens. Her, her cousin, it happens. Her cousin Bonnie shows up, and so they have to, you know, there's another person that's brought in. So Bonnie and Maya are now kidnapped by the meth crew, and they're mm. just loosely thrown in this supply closet. It's supposed to be family drama here because she's been avoiding Bonnie. Doesn't Everyone, tell her that she family, comes basically. in. She mm-hmm. does avoid everybody. And Bonnie's hurt and upset, and you know we get this subplot throughout as a, a bandit, not bandit, uh, biscuits, 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 accidentally reveals that the truck was damaged after the train, and 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 Bonnie's like, what? She's what? this is definitely the time to air out those family grievances when mm-hmm. you've been kidnapped with guns by the meth crew. Uh, so then this they, is definitely time to talk about it. Yes, yeah, so right she, now she visits the uh, I, I, the ring and gets captured by the meth crew and, and white trash meth crew. And then they escape again, forgetting that she has a prosthetic leg. Um, and so she cuts herself off. And then they get into a family squabble, and they fight. They are, they this have... was the worst executed escape scene I've seen ever. Joe, what happens? She's I, got a, I okay. got a plan. I don't so understand. So Echo, the great Echo, has a plan. I don't understand this plan at all. So we get the lady that's uh, holding him hostage because she comes up with the gun. She's like, uh... They're here to kid girl. Like, if somebody's here, they're going to collect the bounty. What should we do? She's like, I got a plan. I'm going to punch in the face. What? Punches in the face, kicks her directly towards them. It's like, what kind of distraction was that? You could have just pushed her towards them. It would have gotten the job done regardless, but you punched her. <laughs> Basically, what we're that? saying is that it felt like the punch it was uh, to Bonnie's face was completely unnecessary because yeah. she easily handles the, the, the meth crew and just kicks them and punches them and shit. And the, well, they, crew, like, they, they, the whole thing yeah. was pointless because like, he pushes her anything. towards them and they just like, oh, whatever, we're going to leave this room and lock you in. Right. And, and the That's whole it. reason why they don't shoot her, like Big Bertha doesn't shoot her with a gun, because is because Batman. they're yeah. supposed to keep her alive and they don't Good paid. Yeah. But it just uh we did not just, film well. Yeah, you no. can shoot her on the arm or in the leg or like somewhere else. Or you shoot Bonnie. You don't need you don't need Bonnie. You can you can do you can do anything. But they don't. And so what they do is they, they leave them in there. It's un- not rated R. Not tied up. They're not they do not secure them at all. No. Yeah. And they just leave them MacGyver in there. MacGyver gadget. Time. Uh and then she assembles a a gun that shoots roller skate wheel bearings using a cordless drill uh the bottom part of a skate uh, a laser pointer so it's a laser targeted laser targeted be- bearing uh gun. Oh, and, and is she zeroed it in somehow she zeroed it in and then you know what the cool thing about it is she doesn't even fucking need it because she, all she does with it is she shoots a light and then bertha <laughs> comes in to go take a look and then she easily could have just taken the gun away from Bertha, but instead she or punched like, Bertha out. She and... she shoots her in the stomach a couple times with the gun, and then she fights her. She didn't need to build this, and it's yeah. Such... But then you wouldn't have the funny joke that Alex told me when she lifts the <laughs> the the bearing and the 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 shot focuses on it. Oh no! And she... Now it's silent because Echo doesn't say anything, and Alex goes, "Oh no, she's got her bearings." <laughs> now she's got her bearings. Yeah, <laughs> and they were in trouble. <laughs> and we laughed and we enjoyed uh, Alex's comment. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then she uses this gun in a ridiculous way to beat up Big Bertha, and um, yeah. Uh, but then the Fist crew comes in, uh, and they're like, "Okay, where's Lopez? You captured Maya." And he's like, "Where's the money for showing the money?" He's like, "Shut up, this fucking annoying guy." And uh, well, Maya's broken free, Bonnie. They're kind of running around here, and so they're stalling for time. The skinny one is like, "Oh, this guy's in charge," and so we get. Some gross 
grossness here. And uh, she's like, I want to go check on something. He's like, yeah, me too. And he's like, no, you, you, you stay, stay here. here. And in fact, shoot this piece of shit. And then he fucking shoots the guy in the back. Shocker. This is probably the most brutal scene we have saw, seen up until now. This is what earns the TVMA rating. He gets shot in the back three times, falls on one of the tables in the roller skate mm. ring. Uh, his <laughs> head goes back, and you see blood coming from his mouth and rolling over his eyes right in front of Henry and Bonnie. I like this scene. I was yeah. like, okay. I was All like, right, yeah, let's more of this, this yes. please. More, more of this. this. Let's continue It shows this. the brutality. Then we get and just then, when he's uh, sick of everything, he's like, ah, fuck all this, we get music. The Dracula. music kicks in. Dracula. And I was like, all right. I bought that I CD. Like I this. remember buying that CD. Because <laughs> it's nostalgic. Mm-hmm. And the lights turn red, and I'm like, ah, she likes red when she fights. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and then we get the skate ring fight, yeah, which but... I, I like some parts of it, and I'll tell you the parts I like, but since Alex hated it so much, I'm going to let him take it here. First, they go to a laser tag room, uh, and she's fighting everyone in the laser tag room. But there's all these like cardboard cutouts, and so you actually don't see her fight anyone. You just see the, these... You ju- see her fight. You, in this room, no, she grabs dudes, and they get like yoinked yeah. off screen. And then eventually, she you see the wall start to crash. Like, she's throwing a dude into the wall, and then she bam, jumps bam, bam. through the wall on them, forgetting that all the guys in the main room that have her, friend, her family captives yeah. have guns. Maybe um, if they're going to do throwing people through a wall where you're at, or you're going through the wall with them maybe they got to added the detail of her they of don't her have she's she's going to be powers up. right now they're yeah. glowing I that would assume, I mean, people buy I that assume, they're superheroes yeah so maybe just amp that up a little bit i mm-hmm. already assumed that cuz it's like they showed it to you us so like all right okay. she's got her powers all right from now so on whatever. she's got them so yeah, yeah. okay That's all right what, so she Punches people through walls, and then she goes through the wall, and um, she grabs some ski balls, mm-hmm. and she kills two dudes with ski balls. Uh, she, cool. she does pick up. It a, was cool. <laughs> I I disagree with Alex. Fucking... I did like this. I like I like, I like this it. scene. I, I think like we both like yeah. it, bro. The fucking part where she takes the fucking gun light. The, the light guns, I'm saying, the light guns from the arcade, and she rips them out, and she's got whips, and she's those, doing gun light whips. Like, mm. I was like, all right, that's cool. It is. That's funny. Funny. The, gotta hurt. The ski ball balls that she killed the dudes with was actually, I, that, that's the part that I like. Yeah. She also picked up a yes. gun and kills three dudes, and we're getting simultaneous cutbacks <gasps> yes. to her ancestor, who was yes. a light horseman, and so she's just murdering people. Head and so like chance. I like the part where she's not fucking around. Yeah. She picks yeah. up a gun because she's in danger, and she actually actually kills people mm-hmm. um but just as as for me as, as it's starting to pick up steam and then she's <laughs> like oh yeah there's a bad guy with a gun on my uncle and a bad guy with a gun my on my friend. my cousin and so i've got to surrender yeah. and then so she surrenders and yeah, she, she wait 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 she beats everyone up yes Except and the head guy is like, <laughs> and he's got you know bonnie or whatever mm-hmm. and then the scene cuts yeah. And and by the way, she, she had the ski ball, right? She dropped the ski ball. She could have thrown that fucking ski ball. There's two bad guys. There's two bad guys. One behind her holding the uncle. The, the uncle and the cousin are both in yes. danger. All right, no, two I, ski balls thrown <laughs> simultaneously. I am with you, and that is why I'm, I am I told you. I hated the, this ending. I was yeah, the all way, on board, it, yeah. but then the way it, 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 it ended just and cut, everything. And then like, everybody's all back up, all of her punches. And all of her bullets didn't hurt them enough because she's literally surrounded she by ten people. She killed three dudes. She I killed everyone, yeah. pretty much. Those three guys are dead. Yeah, right. sure they're, they're walking dead. around with a bullet hole. <laughs> Look, you're not supposed to be in the scene. We got you now. You're not supposed to be in the scene. We should actually go back and see if any of the dudes that got shot in yeah. the face come back. Yeah. Like yeah. Our she's surrounded, and it, then uh, she's basically uh, at their mercy. She's on her knees, and just as they're about to do whatever they're going to do, he gets a phone call. And you can tell this is Fizz telling him back off. But sir, but, but Joe goes what? And I'm like, but, Joe, it's Fizz. I understand just, that, but they're gonna let her go because he was the reason. Bring is her now, to me, right? But Fisk, bring her. No, to he me. wants to make an entrance, so he's already in the city. He's like, don't fuck with her. Let her go off and do. And I want her to show up at the house, and I'll I'll menacingly walk out. Um, so they let her go, and the guy's like, yeah. so we got to give that guy his comeuppings in the next two episodes. That guy is her rival now, and she needs to beat him up, the uh, the gangster, I'll call him. Um, 
but yeah, a disappointing ending. Uh, so the Fisk phone call saves her. The bad guys leave. Um, we get a scene with the grandpa making her a new leg as he fashions it a little bit uh, with uh, some Choctaw uh, inspirations. And she ultimately, she doesn't like it at first, but I think she does like it. And she uh, uses it. And then uh, Fisk shows up at the end to return to her hometown and we have a confrontation here and she's got a really mad face on is she going to shoot him in the face again he's bigger than the house Motherfucker's yes, what's going to happen <laughs> <laughs> he's big um and i like fisk uh, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and so i'm hoping that the next two episodes lives up to this uh, reveal uh but other than that um yeah what would you so what would you give it um, I still kind of enjoy it for yeah, it was being fine. dumb. I'm gonna say a four because okay. again, like I like the beginning; it was pretty cool. I like some of the fight scenes, but it pissed me off at the fucking very end. I was like, "Come on, you're gonna do all that?" But this guy's three of them were shot dead. Yeah, and you just got hit in the fucking face with a ski ball. Mm -hmm. Like, show something. I feel like uh, okay. Um, Are we being too hard on it? Because you you liked the, the did you like the opening? Uh, the parody. Yeah, yeah. Then you liked some of the uh, uh, skating ring fight, and then but, all the scenes with Grandpa and the flirting and the the, the things. Yeah, were it was all fine. Right. Mm -hmm. But then, like again, it just I hated it. The ending. Okay. Uh, yeah. For me, I think it would have been better. It's like, okay, you get a phone call. We don't know what the fuck is going on. It's like, all right, you're coming with us, and take her wherever, and mm -hmm. then we'll get the reveal of Fisk. Mm -hmm. It would have been better instead of. Let them all go. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a, this is all fucking pointless. This is all fucking pointless. Just so we, I think it's more scenes. Uh, so we have the grandpa scene giving her the leg, I guess. Yeah, I didn't like, obviously, the... In the, in the uh, you can see the way it's cut together, you don't like. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think that the, the way that they did the light horseman thing... I mean, I get what they were going with it. I would rather have the grant... You can set it up in so many ways where Biscuits is in the story. He's like, hey, Grandpa, I don't recognize that. And he's like, oh, that's your so-and-so. Or you, you even go, your grandmother can trace her ancestors mm -hmm. back. And he easily could have explained the exposition. It was just, it feels like it's just cut in. And like when you're watching it all smooth together, it's like it just kind of felt out of place. How they just like randomly introduced like this, this ancestor. Um, and I don't know if I like the power thing at all. The like I love the, the inclusion of the Native American stuff is interesting, but it feels like the Disney thing where they're setting something up for Echo season two, and it's like motherfucker, make Echo season one cool. I don't need you to explain to me the power that she gets in episode five. I would like her to have the power now mm -hmm. and actually like do interesting things with it because I'm so tired of the formula where it's like no, this part pays off in the next season or the next tied together product, and I don't necessarily want or their their, their dare, Daredevil season. Um, I, there's interesting scenes here, but I just, I didn't like this episode. This is one where I think that it, they, it solidified to me that whoever's in charge of the fights really doesn't know what they're doing. And maybe if the writing was better and it didn't feel like the meth, the meth crew were cartoons. Yeah. It, it's it, like, like, I forgot about the meth crew. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. where it was dropping for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just like, it, it is so poorly done where the like these trash. people, these people have guns. They're set to make a payday. They're also terrified they're going to die. And they do. I mean, they're, it's worse than Austin Powers. Like it is so <laughs> much worse where it's like, we get one in that guard and I'm not, not gonna watch him and we're not gonna do any of that stuff and so i i think this but is alex yeah the, the point is they are inept yeah yeah mm -hmm. i can't I, I okay what well, would you get uh, i need the rating uh i'm gonna give this a two this is like offensive oh, like I, I honestly when i said in the beginning that the person in charge of this episode i don't think should be doing action things Whether, i disagree well, but you yeah. know hey everybody the, the, from, the the writing, from the writing perspective i think i, the, I think half of the uh action scenes were done well I liked them. good. So there's some good moments in the action scenes for me. No, I, I, no the, the person who wrote this episode, I don't th think should be writing it. Not the person who, who, who did, because I don't think the person who is, you know, doing okay. the ski yeah, ball yeah, scene that's fine. is doing. I'm yeah, just, you, you're, okay. you're not, okay, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, I don't have to agree with you. I'm not I, saying I agree with you. you. You're just not listening to what I'm saying. I am listening to what okay. you're saying. You thought the episode was poorly written. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I agree with you okay. to a certain extent. But not to a point that they don't they shouldn't have a job and then it's 2 out of 10. I think it's a, a 4 out of 10. Like, Joe, I, I, I think the action scenes held it up for me. I like the, the general, um, you know... <laughs> uh, 
Lopez coming in and saving the other Lopez's and the light horseman was was silly to me. Yeah. Uh, I could see how some people would see it's out of place. I think it got the satire from um, what's that one that they did? The black and white werewolf. That that oh, little that yeah. little show. Yeah, yeah it kind of reminded me of that, though cheesier and lower budget. <laughs> um, but it didn't bother me. I think what they're trying to do is is set up the ancestry. It would have been more yeah. serious if we had got it more closely tied to their family and then maybe kind of explained in a more serious way. But if you're going to show something like this, at least make it entertaining. And for me, the little cheesy story was entertaining. So I like that. The white trash stuff went way too far. The, the, they were so incompetent. So it turned into a cartoon, as Alex yeah. was saying. And uh, I get that they're supposed to be incompetent. And then the real criminals show up and fucking shoot them. But it, it's just frustrating. But the it, real criminals are incompetent, too. Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> Let them go. Exactly. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, they're scared of Fisk, Alex, and but even I mean, then you make this is definitely convenience and three plot of armor. My men. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is why we're in five, four, three, two, one <laughs> instead of you know eight, nine, ten. Uh, but I see moments of coolness here, and I, it's a little better than I thought it was um, in certain certain segments. Uh, so. I don't know. I'm just hoping these last two episodes bring us home because I think it's better than Miss Miss Marvel in parts. Um, man, the villains in Miss Marvel were so bad. In, in fact, still amongst the worst villains. Yeah. Forgettable. Uh, so forgettable. So I'm hoping that Fisk really so pulls that. his weight in the last two episodes. What? That's why I said forgettable because I don't remember. You don't even remember They were them? The, the bad genies. They yeah, the bad genies. Oh, That's see? what it was. See? When they were like, stop doing bad stuff. And they're like, okay, I'll stop okay. doing bad stuff. Or the evil government agency that was trying yeah. to kill them. So because I'm liking it a little more than that, I... I think I'm a little easier on it, and uh, I it's five out of ten uh, on this particular one. And um, yeah, I think like quick fixes would quick have fix. raised this up. Like again, she's what fighting, fix? she's fighting, she's got like two more guys. The guy pistol whips his uncle. Is like, hey, you better fucking stop. And um, he's pointing gun at yeah. the uncle. Then we get to the next scene and says like, Drop if we're supposed like, to take all right, them serious, we're all tied up now. All right, now you're free. He's like, ah. That was done for dramatic reveal yes. on Fisk. I, I know. I agree. I, it's stupid. Yes. I agree. Yes. <laughs> Fisk could have just walked in right there. You know, it had probably been way more dramatic. Way, you know. Yeah. And then, then, and then, you know, and then he's the one. Like he brings a knife to her, but he cuts her free. You know, there's there's lots of different ways to do this. Yes. The way it was done was awkward. It made us go, but what? Bad. Uh, uh, mm, Bad. Yeah. So that's, that's why, why we're it. having problems yes. with it so far. So uh, two more episodes, yeah. uh, which we'll go watch right now. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. We're back after watching uh, episodes four and five. As you can tell, uh, the ending for the series, uh, I mean, we literally just saw it a minute ago. Sure, I mean, do you guys need time to crazy, fucking process man. your thoughts? Was it a process? It's, yeah. Uh, they dropped the freaking, here's, here, let me say this. I, okay, going into episode four and watching episode four, I actually liked episode four. I think it's one of the best episodes of the season. So I got encouraged. Agreed. I was like, holy shit, this is yes. better directed. Yeah. This is better written. This is, here we go. And then they drop the ball hard. How is it that your finale is shorter than your setup? And it felt rushed. It was just dumb and stupid. You done fucked it up. I don't. I don't know if I've seen a, a two episode thing where it's like this high and this low. At least for me, that's how I felt about this conclusion. Uh, Fisk yeah. ultimately wasted uh, the yes. powers uh, that 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 manifest here at the end. Stupid. I much prefer Echo's original powers. A hugely disappointing final confrontation at the powwow. Um, Preceded by a really well-written, character-driven setup episode, episode four. Wow. This fucking sucks. This fucking 
sucks. And I didn't think I'd say that. Like, we were already kind of down on the series. We're like, well, well we're hoping they can, uh, yeah. t- uh, you know, lift Two the plane episodes. lift off here. It's, it's pull gotta up. Go, it's got to be up. better. We pulled up, but then, but then I don't know, a wing fell off or something, and we went back down. I don't know. We pulled up to uh, She-Hulk at the season, uh, that fin- <laughs> the finale. We don't. We don't speak. Almost, we don't speak about she Hulk. Almost Hulk. that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm like, what the fuck are you Everybody doing? Everybody thinks we like she Hulk, but if you watch our fucking things, it's yeah, the first few yeah, episodes, and then that. we. Like, These I don't guys know like she Hulk. I was like, yeah. The first we were as hard on it as anybody else there towards the end. Like and honestly, uh, the end. Yeah. So you you agree? The, oh, you agree yes, with yes. me that the ending? What the fuck? Yeah, I even said in the fourth episode. In the fourth episode, I was like, okay, now we're actually going. So you agree with me on the fourth episode? Yes. I think you both do. Yeah. I was like, all right, this is good. But then, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yeah. That's all I have to say. It's not It's not worth it. Don't don't watch don't this. Watch don't watch this. Don't watch oh, this. Oh, not, not even watch it yet. No, I no, agree. No, there's I mean, no what's point. the point? What's, exactly. They what's wasted the Fisk. What's the point? Now this the feels characters. like a... A half a season, a side season, a mini series that didn't need to be told at all. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if we're gonna see Echo again. They ruined it. I, I, I was reading more on Spotlight. There's a uh, Kevin Five. He was like, these are these can be stories that are separate from the greater MCU, or you don't need to know all the. It's it's hard to tell whether he meant this doesn't connect to the MCU, or you could watch this without connecting to the MCU. And I think it's that one, but. After this, I don't know if we'll see Maya again. I don't care to. Mm-mm. I was hoping for more, a little more character, uh, you know, setup, and we got that in episode four. Yes. So I was like, finally, I'm about to c- uh, get a jump on the Maya train, and then five came about. I'm like, that no. It, it felt like there was like 25 minute episode there it at was, the end. It was really really short. Yeah, I mean, they they set everything up. They they rebounded from. You know, episode three is definitely the low point, and it was directed by someone completely different. Yeah, uh, um, Cateronia McKenzie was the only one, so that can kind of factor in for why Alex hated that one, because uh, Sydney Freeland directed all the rest. Yeah, and so four, they they kind of pick things back up. We 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 get some direction. She's got to kind of figure out what she wants to do. And things are moving. I could definitely see people go, look, I'm not saying that episode four is a nine, ten, eight, or a seven, no, but it was better than the things yes. that we had gotten previously. I am. It, it looked like it had rebounded into a place where it's like, oh, this is this could be potentially interesting. Mm-hmm. And all they had to do was like ramp up the violence, get to the point where the Echo character kind of fits what they kind of told us the series was going to be. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, it was a car- the, the finale was also kind of a cartoon. And it was kind of dumb. And it was completely that out of left even, field. It wasn't even cartoon. I, I, I would prefer a skating ring fight cartoon to With what a, we got. Yeah, like whoopee cushions. You'd knock some guy in the whoopee cushions. Like, yeah. Ah, that's funny. It is. Bro, it what the It fuck? is funny. Yeah, that is funny, yeah. <laughs> you done fucked it up. I did not like the ending, no, guys. No, like, honestly, like, after watching it. This is like Secret right now, Invasion watch, ending. Watch, watch something else. Unfortunately, because <laughs> I, right. I do like the characters. I like the characters. Yeah, I, I like but. the Lopez's Joe is what I like. <laughs> but is it even worth it at the end of this? No. I don't think it's even worth for those side characters. Wow. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> let me. Okay. I want I we're speaking very negatively because this was their fault, not mine. Uh, but I do want to uh, point out some other things that I noticed. Um, the I did want to mention that this is the first time Disney released all episodes at once. I guess we know now know why <laughs> they didn't think that they can retain audience and viewership week to week no, with this one, no. so they just plop, plop them all yeah, out. I would give up. There was an embargo up until the fucking point of all the episodes coming out. That's never the best sign. Usually, studios will brag and let some early reviews out, and 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 yeah. So that that was a little bit of a bad sign as well. I don't know if there were, you know, production issues behind the scenes. I, I have no idea. But um, some of the positives, we'll talk more when we do in our episode breakdown in episode four. There were a lot of positives. I do want to give a shout out to the way they did. And I didn't mention any of this in the first three episodes, but I liked the way they covered uh, the 
American Sign Language and uh, what it's like to be deaf and and kind of living in her experiencing the world mm-hmm. through her perspective with the sound, uh, with you know sign language, and honestly, and I think I'll talk more about it in episode four when you have that amazing scene between her and grandma, I was just looking at, you know, the signing and I'm like, this is fucking beautiful. American sign language is beautiful. Like this, it's really cool. And the way they film that. And, uh, so they did justice to, um, you know, challenges that, that, uh, deaf people will have to deal with. And if you're a superhero, so I like the perspective every once in a while, of seeing that kind of stuff as far as the native american stuff i'm like i'm liking it i'm liking it when you do this what they do with it at the end they didn't do anything they did something <laughs> they did stupid some, with it but i didn't want it and i didn't want it and i'm like oh my god and i thought that maybe when she's going and she will talk to you know grandma the the or, or, or I don't know. I guess the series didn't have time for the what I wanted, which was incorporating more of the culture into her, her as a character, her fight style, her, her, you know, um, just seeing more of that community and and how that factors into the story. Yeah, we get the creationism story of uh, the the Choctaw, but and that was well done, but it never really felt. It didn't pay off. It didn't, it didn't feel at important all. at all. Like they were just, it was just there. And they felt like they had to, or I, I don't know. It, it, they handled it poorly because it never paid off. And and I was, look, I was waiting for it. And what we got yeah. in episode five, oh, that is not what I was hoping for. So a huge disappointment. Um, and honestly... <laughs> You could you could cool. you could just watch the final t- 15 minutes of episode 5 and laugh at it like we did and that's that's the echo. I mean that you'll be right up to uh where you need to be. If you like watching every single thing. We were we were going through every single MCU thing and I said, "Have we watched everything?" We damn near have, but uh, there's three bit. series that we haven't yeah. seen. We haven't seen Agents Age of Shield. Shield. We didn't see Defenders. I didn't you see didn't see y'all didn't I'm see defenders. defenders. I did. I'm I'm talking about those ABC ones. So Inhumans, oh. Agents of Shield, and we haven't seen second season of uh, What If. But other than that, I'm I'm up to um, par on this one. I'm up to you know where everybody else is at, and I'm saying you can skip it. You can skip this. Yes. All right. I agree. I agree with that. It was a fucking letdown. Yeah, a, a, even the side characters barely get anything. There doesn't feel like there's a great, uh, awesome resolution. Uh, the Lopez's don't really get much. No. B- ban- Biscuits by the end is like, what is this character? He potentially killed 20 people, and he didn't know if there's actually a problem. Yeah, and I honestly feel they're like... They're like, hey, there may, there may be bad wait guys a minute. here. They're... What was that? <laughs> oh my. Okay, so let's go into the episode breakdown okay, now. That's fine. So... Let's go into episode four, which was called, uh, by the way, the, the first episode, uh, Chaffa. Uh, second episode, Lowak. Uh, third episode, uh, tu- Trash. Tuklo. Yeah, Trash. Uh, it is T. And then uh, this one, uh, fourth, Taloa. And this is the, in my opinion, the best episode of this series. The w- best written episode. While there's no fighting at all in this one mm-hmm. it yet for me resonates the best i'm like okay we're getting into the nitty-gritty i can see the writers actually doing uh you know it's it's competent it's it's interesting and it my, but i didn't uh, realize arc. that we only had one episode left and i didn't look at any of the time stamps until the last fucking mm-hmm. moment so i didn't realize that like yeah that was a great episode but you left no, no room to wrap this up in a satisfying way it's disney's mo mm-hmm. that's what they do best so uh, let's set this up. So then we get uh, the ice cream uh, scene where it's a ba- back in the past. Mm-hmm. Little girl Echo uh, asks for some ice cream. A guy's a dick to her, doesn't give Use her your any. words. Use yeah. your words. Yeah. And uh, this really, and Fist sees this in the car and gets really pissed off. And he right gets back. out of there. He's like, I'll be right back. Your uncle needs to do something. And he beats his mom, pulls him in the alley and beats him up. And all, all, us in the room were like, yes. 
yeah, and then there's blood, and he's just being brutal, and it was like, now it feels, and I even said, it's like, now it feels like the Netflix yeah. series, uh, Daredevil. I'm like, this is the kind of stuff we like. So it started strong. Yeah, Maya sees this down in the alleyway. He's like, oh, no, uh, you're not supposed to see this. She runs up. Oh, starts right. kicking him, too. I was like, yeah. oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, he's like, I don't, uh, get me a new suit. <laughs> he <laughs> wants a completely new suit, because he always wears white, and he got blood all over it, and he's like, I don't want Maya to Risky see. Risky man. And he and Maya's already there. And she comes over like this this little actress. <laughs> I didn't but she's like, kicking it. Um but yeah, yeah so uh, and then he, and then then it's followed up by another strong scene, the dinner scene. Alex, mm-hmm. tell us about this. This is one of the only times in the series where we actually got good tension. And yeah, so it's yes. like Vincent D'Onofrio is a giant man and he plays an even bigger man and they're in a small set. And he's just imposing, and you can just feel his presence in the room. And she's she feels small next to him, and he's brought dinner, and he's like, "We're gonna have our Sunday night dinner, and we're gonna talk this over." You shot me in the face. No, 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 no. Oh, you're skipping a little far ahead. There was just a, before that was the final lesson dinner, where he's still grooming her, and he's saying, oh, "Okay, yeah. now you uh, we're moving from theoretic to practical." And I was like, "Man, this is well done. You get the you get the fucking classical music. You got his translator." And 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 then she's like, "All right, you know, th- you have graduated." And then the translator walks behind there, and the camera reveals that there's a bunch of uh, oh, I plastic knew it's plastic sheets. She knows too much. Come on, <laughs> exactly, because yeah. she's doing all the combos. Because this is a cool factor. Fisk never bothered to learn American Sign Language, <laughs> which shows whether he truly cared and or if he is capable of deeply caring. And again, testing the uh, all the family. He, Fisk, yes. Fisk's whole thing is like his intense and insane, either what he his proclaimed love for his, his family. Mm-hmm. So yes. I buy that. He just didn't want to. So a way better start. Um, and then he gives, her, So, but then this is where we get to, to the scene Alex was talking about mm-hmm. where he shows up and he gives her the gift. What, what does he give her, Joe? He gives her uh, contact. Like, I thought he was gonna pour contact. some. I thought he was gonna <laughs> pour some in her eyes. Like oh, an eye for an eye, bitch. <laughs> no. Right, because he's there. He's imposing. A bunch of soldiers yeah, they come open her up. Eye, give her contact, and then he starts talking, and he, she sees the sign language, and mm-hmm. he, he hears her. So. Yeah, he's surprisingly uh, this way. He can communicate with wow. her. He doesn't have to sign. Uh, he doesn't have to find another translator to shoot later on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's not mad at her. You know, he, he has this sort of fucked up, uh, m- you know, mutual my respect and love. Thing. And it's like, well, this is the language of violence is what we know. And so I, I guess you you and were I right. did kill your father. I so. did. <laughs> he didn't say that. Yeah. 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 But she knows. Yeah. She knows. Yeah. That's yeah. why she shot him in the face in the first this place. This is a great fucking episode. And then, um, so... We have that sit down, and it's a, like Alex was saying, he's such an imposing yes. man. It's a dangerous scene. Yeah, because he's like, I brought you some fine wine. Mm-hmm. And he's like, All right, I'll, I'll open up the wine. Mm-hmm. She goes over there, comes back with some, uh, like, what is it? Shasta. Shasta. Yeah, she like, pours it out, thinking he maybe like, poisoned it. He's like, I threw it out. We're having these. Right. He's like, Okay, well, I brought you some delicious cookies, cookies from, from Levain cookies. Bakery. Levain, which is a real Never thing, had. apparently. Oh, they're guys. super Shit. good. Get the ones without the walnuts, because walnuts don't belong in chocolate do like, cookies. But, like, now I want some. Great app. They're, advertisement they're for like Levain them. cookies. And then even at the end of the scene, I'm like, all right, all right take a bite of the like, cookie. I see the cookie. I I see it. But then they start setting everything up, and uh, he, he enrolls his uh, silverware. The knife falls oh, down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drop the they knife. both go for <laughs> it. But he goes faster because yeah, he like, doesn't want her to. But he, he's <laughs> fucking with her the whole he time. Is, he's, he's like, like <laughs> you can feel the tension in there. And you can cut it with that point, knife. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and then switches it. They're pretty cool. Mm-hmm. This is uh, partly because he's a That's great cool. actor yes. and a great uh, kingpin. Wasted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was okay. So wasted. Uh, mm-hmm, by the end, as we've seen, as we find find out in episode five. But right now, when we're sitting and watching this, we're like, "This is okay. Yeah. We could have a potential turnaround here." And he, um, he pretty much offers her everything. Yeah. He's like, "Look, you you want to come back? I want you to come back with me to New York. I got a plane leaving in three days. I want you on it." And that's kind of what the whole point of this is. Like, queen look, pin. I'm not trying. That to That was kill cringy. You. That line. I want to she could be queen pin, but ultimately it doesn't matter. He yeah. is offering her the empire, and it's not like a MCU. Mm-hmm thing or anything like that it was like come back with me we can rule this empire together and frankly it it fits within his character Mm -hmm. now we didn't really see this in daredevil all these vanessa like you fuck with vanessa that's when he gets emotional he kills people never really heard about echo there but i'll forgive it because obviously they didn't know about this character didn't know they were going to do it so he actually does love two things in his life he 
has, or at least there's two vulnerabilities, one in being Vanessa and one being eventually Echo when he meets her. So he doesn't want to kill her. He doesn't want to do any of that. He just wants her back and by his side and ruling the Empire. Mm-hmm. So, um, so the next scene, uh, he goes to Henry. He's like, you another had, really yeah. great scene. He's like, you had dinner with you? Are you crazy? He's offering me all this stuff. He's mm-hmm. like, but at what cost? He's like, I was, it's like, you left me. Yeah, that, that was stuff. powerful. And the fact that, and so I'll say the actress here, uh, 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 how do you say her name? I'm going to do a disservice here. Uh, Aqu- uh, Cox. Alakwa, Al- Alakwa Cox. In this uh, this episode, she's killing it because she is conveying such perfect emotion through having to sign everything yeah. and and, yeah. and and that limitation. Whereas you know any act, other actor can you know um, use their voice and, and their emotions, and she does that here perfectly because I can feel it. It it, it was a, a scene that resonated, and she's like, you you know she's hurt that Henry. Yes didn't do anything to help her uh but she also kind of realizes when henry confesses to her essentially that he was confused and and frankly scared yeah you know and he shows her that vulnerability (laughs) for not helping her and i think that while that hurts her it's It's like a true fucking crime boss what can this guy do exactly so um. Yeah. And then after she, that, he takes her to Chula. Yeah, she starts getting the visions again. They start getting more intense ever she, ever since she started getting. In, she went into town, so he takes her to the grandma. He's like, "Oh, why is Henry bringing you here now? What's mm-hmm. so important?" It's like I'm seeing these visions. It's like oh, I know exactly and what you're talking three about. Three for three on great scenes here because uh, this is the one that I really liked. Uh, she tells her about the vision she's happening having. And uh, in return, she tells her the story of her mother. Yes. Uh, and basically what happens here. There was complications when she was delivering the baby, mm-hmm. and they pretty much felt that there was nothing they could do in the, the white hospital. So she goes out uh, amongst her sisters, you know, and they help her and a midwife to try to figure out, like, their own way of doing it. So through nature, her, uh, you know, she has her birth in the woods. They use the water from the, the spring. And in fact, the, the particular area that they chose in the woods, you'll see a little spiral, mm-hmm. you know, thing that which which was just like the pool. So you can imagine that maybe they're in <clears throat> that are in a special place or a holy place, a mystical place, um, and or um, they're having complications, and the mystical force chooses these two. Um, well, they're in the bloodline as well that, that activates, yeah. and uh, so that activates, and she's empowered, uh, you know, and. Uh, Turns out that the baby that was born, is, her mother, is a healer, has healing powers. Um, and all this was well done. And I bought it, and I was like, okay, cool. And, and but, this, but then the next conversation that she has after she tells her that story is a really hard conversation yeah. about the grandma abandoning her. And, and Chasing him off. It's like, look, you, you said that you wanted to, uh, my father to take me away with the other, because it's like the father and his brother moved, uh, moved to New York. And it's like, look, you abandoned me. Mm-hmm. And then when my dad died, uh, I was Told adopted by me. you know yeah. the this giant piece of shit. It mm-hmm. is literally your fault. And I grew mm-hmm. up hating you because you shoved, you forced me away. And this is where I wrote sign language is beautiful. I really realized it in this moment because um, you know the the generation one. Yeah, the generation, the echoes, like it would just linked up perfectly. The music the emotion in grandma's face and in echo's face just fantastic another great scene and she leaves after she says that essentially she's angry at her uh but she at the same time kind of understands um it's sad and uh at at you know grandma's kind of selfishness and grandma you know she cries um and uh so it's a great scene and then what happens after that? Uh, uh, b- they have a random scene of Biscuit, uh, and, and Alex said, oh, I, I used yes. to do this when I was younger. Go to Picking Apart. What pick does apart. he do? Pick Apart. Yeah, I love Pick Apart. What's Pick Apart? Truck. It's, it's like uh, you go to a scavenging. place with a bunch of, yeah, it's like scavenging cars that have like been uh, chop, chop, oh, chop, yeah, chop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go cool. through there, and you're trying to find your exact. It's just like, yeah, oh. like find gold, and yeah. he's all like, the, the everything will guide me, and. Everything he's the light the, touches that's is Lion yours. King, and he's like, y- yeah. Everything the light touches is yours. Well, it's not how pickup art works. You just still have to pay for the parts, but like you, right? Yeah. And what happens if you find it with in the cash. trunk? <laughs> with cash. Yeah. With cash. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything the light touches is yours. 
With cash. With cash. <laughs> All right. But the, t- random. No. Goes nowhere. No, no, I'm confused. It does, it does go somewhere. Oh, it's, it's super oh, important. It that's, that's what it's set up? Yeah, that's yep. set up. It's super that important. That is so stupid. Yes. Okay. I got something better than a gun. <laughs> but he didn't even know. Whatever. We're moving Get it? on. It's fun. Yeah. Hey, this okay. episode yes. was fine. This, so let's yes. not, so let's we not, like that. We it. like don't it. Don't it. I'm not tainting it. Grandma seems to be making a new outfit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought initially, oh, this is like, you know, uh, Mama Kent making uh, Superman's outfit. Mm-hmm. But no, she was working on this yeah, before, uh, you know, mm-hmm. and this is a, pro- uh, a ceremonial uh, garb for the upcoming festival in the powwow. Um, but we see it as potentially something that Echo will eventually wear. Um, <clears throat> OK, so anyways, after she goes through these things and, and sort of m- this culmination of healing and and hard truths, she goes to fucking kill Fisk. Uh, goes to his hotel room. She's got the gun ready to do. And again, another great scene here. Uh, Fisk uh, basically knows that she's there to kill him, and he's kind of prepared. He and left he's the like, door open. There's no guards. Like yeah, yeah, he's so like he's he, he wants to he wants to know is she going to choose him or or, or choose, choose to kill him or choose to join him and. He has a gift for another gift, and this time it's the fucking hammer from Daredevil from when they showed that he beat the fuck out of his father because his father was abusive to his mother, and he had to listen to this every night staring at that um, at the white wall, and he gives it to her, and he's like, take me out. You know, do the same, basically, thing to me that my father, that mm-hmm. I did to my father. And she learns that this... You know, kind of she connected to him and bonded with him through the fact that he lost his father and she lost her father, right? But this is in that moment she learns that, well, his father passed away because he murdered him. You know, he killed his own father, even though his father's a piece of shit. But. Yeah, and she also just tries to go, no, I wasn't innocent. And he's like, look, there's not a single time where you ever told me Boom. you didn't want to murder these people. You are as yeah. ex- you are complicit in and that's all true. of this shit. And it's like, she's killed a lot of people. Like and that's lot. fucking true. And, and, and a part of me is like, this is probably why I just kind of disliked this character when it first showed up. I was like, what? I don't really want... Why did she get her own show? Like, she was... Somewhat of an unlikable character mm. and dull and, and kind of boring in, in her introduction in, in, in Hawkeye. And I don't really think so. she was all that great. But with additional characterization here, she started to grow on me. And I thought that, all right, we're going to get this final episode. And boom, we're going to raw, raw here. Unfortunately, this is the last we get that is somewhat poignant and good. She decides to get the hammer and she decides that she will not. She's not going to kill Fisk like that. And uh, even though he gives her an opportunity to. She, she tells her, I'll be on the airplane tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Join me. Join me. Join me. And she decides. Uh, nope. No. no they she, they she, tell her. Yeah. They, they, uh, Fisk has some uh, people tell her. And he's like, nope, she's not coming. He gets mad and starts beating up his own beating airplane. Beating up the airplane. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and <laughs> before that, they have a cool scene where, like, she's remembering the moments with him, like, whether she's going to end his life. Because, you know, they had good moments together and then fucked up moments together. So that was done well. So, final verdict for this episode. I really like this one, guys. I think this is the best one. I think this is a good episode, good TV. I'd probably give it an 8. May, uh... Eight out of ten, maybe even a nine out of ten. Let me let me hear you guys. What do you? What I'm going to go with a seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I did really enjoy this one, and b- this is where I'm starting to get on, uh, like a get on board. Get on board. I was like, all right, I'm right behind Maya. Mm-hmm. Let's see where this fucking goes. It's right. going to be fucking good because it started good. It started getting pretty violent. I'm like, all right. I'm We're going to get a payoff and Vincent here. Vincent is mm-hmm. fucking amazing. DBMA, let's go. Vincent is fucking amazing. And I'm okay Aiden. that there's not a fight in this because no, no. we set it up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Vincent was like amazing, even though mm-hmm. he was just still calm. He's super yeah. threatening. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, God, he's going to go off any minute now. He chooses but his words very yes. carefully, and you know that every one of them is dangerous. Great performance. Yeah. So. Yeah. Great he still got it, and I'm ha- excited to see more of him in Devil, uh, Daredevil: Born Again. In Echo Two. No, this is the next Echo series. Two. I don't think Re- there's Re-Echo. going to be an Echo. Re- Re- no. Well, well, Re- t- technically that would be Echo Two because if she's going to show up, she's going to show up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, you know, after talking through it, I was going to go with a six, but I, I think I'll go with a seven. I think this mm-hmm. is a good episode. Um, it, 
we had great scenes, almost scene after scene of just good, interesting things. Mm-hmm. There was some, you know, some of the the violenty things that went on with that Fisk did. I mean, we saw that in the trailers, but yeah. I think that this is kind of what I wanted out of the series. I wanted mm-hmm. interesting things with Vincent D'Onofrio. I wanted a darker world where things feel dangerous, and there was danger, and there was tension in this episode, and it was completely the opposite from the last one. And so. I was at the end of this episode. I was like, "Oh, oh, boy, they actually may stick the landing," <laughs> right. uh, but they didn't. Yeah, we uh, we had false hope, and yeah. I'm actually going to go with a nine because I can't really see any other reason. I believe I think it was a nine, and you put it into perfect words where it's like, "This is what I was hoping for yes. for Echo." This this was this episode was the best case scenario that we could have got with all these other episodes, and if it did. <laughs> then heck, this could have been one of the better uh, series and could hold up against the Netflix series. But as it stands now, oh no. So, uh, going into episode five now, which is titled... (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Titled. (laughs) It's titled Maya, Joe, and it's one of the shortest of the... (laughs) Uh, Finales are very short, you know, as they do. No, 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 on Disney oh, Plus, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it dropped the ball hard. I don't even yes. know how to. Number one, you start by making me hate the little girl. Okay, this bitch kills a fucking bird. She she fires a a, a rock and knocks the, the the mystical bird we've been seeing Could've the whole time. It. And and it. make things worse. She goes over to her mom and she's starts lying. lying. <laughs> Bitch, I hate her. <laughs> she's like, I didn't mean to hurt it. Okay, fine. It fell from the she's tree. She's a kid. Did she doesn't it, know Maya? any bender. Did it. <laughs> Did it, Maya? Did you kill it, Maya? Yeah. I no, wanted she to was like, see if I could hit it. I was like, well, you did I didn't want to hurt it, she says. That's the excuse. All right, whatever. But it's a scene to set up her mom's superpower, where she actually has a superpower. She does this. It glows, and you got that. And I'm like, okay. We're going to use this why again. Are we, why are we showing this now? <laughs> Fuck, we're going to use this that's again. But, but I still time. had hope. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I shouldn't have you're had still hope for the how it's used it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, then we get a great scene with flirting grandpa again. Love it. Uh, sewing machine. So grandma comes in and asks uh, for her sewing machine back. You remember that sewing machine? <laughs> Turned in a long time ago, and he just walks off. Mm. And she's like, eh, well, I, I am kind of rude to him so all the time. So maybe customers? he's finally mm. treating me rudely. Is this how your customers comes in back from the other end? Boom. Not only did he fucking repair it, he oiled it, cleaned it, put a nice little blanket on top of it, and he was just waiting for her to come back. So great scene. Joe is like, uh, you know, she can pay in sex. And I was like, really? That, really that's yeah. what she said. That's what he was implying. That, yeah. He's like, well, how much do I owe you? He's like, oh, you could just come back anytime you want or more often. I was like, that means sex. Yeah, she goes, that means sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Of course, you go there, Joe, with the older lady. What else did he imply? You know what he, he was implying. lonely. Old try- people lonely wants to talk to her exactly. more. Exactly. What does talking to her have to do with sex? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what it leads to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spooning leads to forking, my friend. That's how it works. Old, old, old alrighty. Uh, Fisk mm-hmm. uh, runs into Grandma. Um, so it turns out that on that plane, Aah! he doesn't actually leave to New York. He fucking hates all of these fucking... I'm the family, not these you fucking Indians. He wants to kill them all. And, and he gets his fucking crew of... Uh, Australian guy, what's that guy's accent? I don't know where that guy's accent's from, but he shows up that we saw in the skating ring. He brings his fucking lackeys. They're all in the camper with, like, special forces and weapons and shit, Mm -hmm. and they're ready to murder everybody in there. And uh, so to make sure that he doesn't look inconspicuous, he dresses up as an RV tourist and parks his uh, RV right outside the powwow, Climbs up the top vendor. with the yeah. little fucking um, uh, cooler, oh, yeah. and inside the cooler is a fucking rocket, rocket, a rocket for a rocket launcher for an RPG, and he's just gonna blow them all up because they're all in a circle doing the powwow, and uh, yeah, even though he's the only guy on the car, it's like what is what is that guy doing? He looks suspicious to me. Very. At least Henry knew he was suspicious. Oh, yeah. He shows up, and he's like fuck. You know, 
or he calls Biscuit, and he's like, hey, you got a gun? And Biscuit's like, no, I got something better. And I'm like, wow, what could he possibly have? But Henry's like, okay, and he's going to go in, and he's like, man, how the fuck is he going to find these guys? And then we look over, <laughs> he's can easily be seen right there. He's like, ah, okay. Super uh, easy. So that gave Henry enough time to go home, get the silencer, get all of his equipment that he needs to get to just take the guy out. <laughs> uh, anyways, what I'm saying is uh, the guy was stupid to set up where he, where he set up. Yeah. Uh, all right. So Echo, um, a bird shows up to Echo, kind of warning her. or it's be, a, Yeah, right before she leaves back interrupted to the breakfast. New York or uh, yeah. I guess where she, wherever she's going. So she um, runs home, uh, and she gets some texts that they can't find, you know. The grandma mm -hmm. and Bonnie, but that's how much Disney didn't really care about this one, because right. this was like 30-something right. minutes long, mm -hmm. but we see that kind of a grandma getting kidnapped, but we don't see Bonnie yeah, getting kidnapped. See, like, Bonnie, yeah, she's Bonnie kidnapped doesn't matter. Too. In fact, we'll send the, the shit they do with Bonnie later is just even stupider. It's like, what? Okay, we're just condensing so. everything now. Um so the bird tells her, hey, your family's in trouble. Grandma's in danger. Yeah. Yes. So she goes over to Grandma's Rides house. To Nobody's grandma. there. No. Except for she turns the corner in the last room, and she's shocked. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, is, is Fist there with the, you know, gun to Grandma's thought. head or something? Nope. It is her mom. And her mom is in the flesh there. Or maybe a, a zombie? Vision. <laughs> no. If she's in she, the flesh, if she's flesh and she's reanimated, that's no. a zombie. So her mom's there, gives her a little speech, heal heals her heart, but does the healing on her God, heart. It's so it heals all of her brokenness. It's like, this is your family. All right. I was like, yeah, that's great and all, but did you know you murdered uh, probably 57 innocent people? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh she, her, her mother healed her heart. Healed her heart. What about her leg? Uh, that costs extra. Or just or here. That costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> that costs extra CGI budget. They didn't have that. It only had forty million for this one. No? So okay. mom forgets about. Doesn't even look at her. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. Out of all that. the things wrong with this this woman, it's just like your heart's broken. Yeah. Tell her. She's telling her. It's like, you need to yeah, stay here. she's deaf. She's deaf, and she's missing a leg. Uh, and and but we've seen her mom has the power of healing. So she, okay, she heals her heart emotionally, mm -hmm. and her mo her mom tells her that she has the power of strategy, cunning, ferocity, ferocity, because one of her ancestors love. power of love killed man. all of the the evil outlaws by standing on a rock and not taking cover. All of all of the ancestors defended their family except for one except who cheats for at one. sports. <laughs> Use her powers to cheat. At so you, she's using steroids. She's using that's steroids. cheating, Alex. She's using that, steroids. That's, that's her God-given ability. That's her mystic-given ability. She was enhanced. born with it. She's born with enhanced. it. Enhanced. She didn't it's fucking enhanced. juice up like the guy was yeah, probably did. juiced her, up. That's why he was late to the match. She was juicing. Her she palm. was born with that. <laughs> so if you see yeah, somebody no. in the NFL she, with like light up like hands, you'd be like, all right, this guy's cheating. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? What happens if he was yeah, like, born with it, Joe? Do you ban him? <laughs> what I'm saying is that it was, I thought it was hilarious that one of them, the strategy lady, used it for her own yeah. selfish personal yeah. gain, while the I rest of them were protecting her family. I, I like that scene, so I like it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so then we see Echo's costume as her mom steps out of the way. She's like, aha, I'm going to wear this. Grandma didn't give you permission to wear this. <laughs> no, obviously. Yeah. She goes looking for her at the powwow. And uh, why did I write? Oh no! Oh, because oh. the second she put it on, all of her ancestors were by her side. Oh yeah, it was a little cheesy. Um, a little? So yeah. Little, little, little and cheesy. Oh, this is why I did it because. Um, so. I left a lot, you know, I just didn't write because I was in shock of You're what like, was oh, happening. No. I wrote, oh, no, after after we saw what happened, which was she finally looks at a barn or something, and she goes over there, and that's where Fisk is waiting for. Comes out, he's imposing. He's not wearing white this time. It's more gray. And he brings out her a grandma and Bonnie, her, her best friend, and surrounds her. She's in the same kind of situation. She was the in the skating ring, and, her, yeah. and only this skating. time, you know, she's in a predicament here. <sighs> and uh, when I knew things were going wrong, I, well, actually, I don't know which one came first. You'll have to remind me. Um, 
shit goes down. Okay, she manifests, or she starts. How does it go? She starts glowing. Her hands start glowing. She so Fisk. They're going back and forth, and she's yes. like, "Why won't you join me?" Uh, and he's like, "Well, I'm just gonna kill your whole family, like I killed your father." Okay. And then she looks right That's at her right. sister, who's been doing the translating because she took her little eye thing out. What so did she, she say? Get uh, ready trust or me. trust me is trust what me. she said. And we were like, I'm gonna kill "Oh your no!" Whole family. So family. she glows her hands, and just then, all of her lady ancestors show up in the flesh, mm. and it would just. I get it. You know when Ray knocks the fucking light force lightning back, and and I wanted people to show up there. What well, happens here? And it's very cheesy. It doesn't really work. You could have just done it once when she put on the suit. Well, just do cigar. it once. And yeah. Then, like, when she put on the suit, the I'm all right. She's using the one. Bam. Boom. Got right. But no, it. here it's cheesy. It's dumb. And then she, and that. Then the stupidest thing happens. She does that, and then her grandma glows, and I'm like, she "Oh no, free. not not DC <laughs> yes. fucking um, what's the what's the grandma there with the Gatling gun?" And I'm like, "What's gonna happen? Is grandma gonna get you know superpower these guys?" Yeah, she kind of knocks him. Blue beetle. With yeah, the blue gun. beetle. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. So she knocks him aside. But then Bonnie, who is not a part of her family, <laughs> She's gets a her. She gets her bloodline. Okay, fine, whatever. She that's right. So then she she does her thing, and and then I'm expect and also it cuts to um, motherfucker with the rocket launcher about to shoot it, but you know Henry shows up and he snipes the dude, and the guy goes, oh shit, or something, something funny or whatever, and the guy gets killed. But even worse, and and I wrote oh no after this is randomly biscuits shows up. Monster he, uh, the, the white man screams, he appropriates the cultural war screams and war chants of the Indians, and then he uses a monster truck to crush cars? Yep. Mm-hmm. Did I write that right? Yeah, all of the bad He's guys, from, what? All of the the bad guys the, were in two white bands. vans parked right next to each other. So uh, <laughs> there's like ten of them in each van, and he, and he, he turned truck. his grandma's truck. So what he did is at Pick Apart, he found monster truck tires, which I don't know if you know are fucking expensive, and he found a bunch of lift kits. And uh, there's a bunch of uh, like all steel of reinforced- this from <laughs> the pick apart. The pick apart. All, from this, yesterday. No, all this because he 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 had to sell his PS4, right? Yeah. Or PS4, or, yeah. So Maybe that he had PT, he had no money. Money. but he had PT so, on there. It's worth some money. Yeah. So that's how he got his money, right? Yeah. Because he had to he, lower he the broke. price to hundred dollars. Bro, he did that shit <laughs> he for a hundred dollars. Windshield. But he did but everything he, but he, that but Alex he built just a monster truck yes. and and screamed out, blah, 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 and 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 all of a sudden he's fine. Everybody's perfectly in, so that we can wrap this up. Let's go. Yeah, and he runs over all of them and he kills twenty people. Yeah, oh, and he didn't. So by the way, at this point in time, he has not seen an RPG. He has not seen Fisk. He has not seen a gun. Right. He. This just happens out of nowhere. Yeah. So and he, the way it's filmed, his uncle tells him is like, "Hey, there may be some bad guys here. Be careful. Arm yourself if you have something." He didn't say go kill people. <laughs> and so he sees two white vans. He's like, "I'm gonna kill everyone in those in vans." Those van. I he hope doesn't check. That would have been nice if he like checked the van and oh, okay, and walks by. There's kids in there. Sleeping. At this point, I was just like. Oh. Whatever, I don't get this shit, I don't get care. This shit over with yes. because we are in cringe territory. Yes, and then she literally fucking morphs into her ancestors, and that I couldn't stand. I, I thought like, fucking oh Vin Diesel God. was going to show up mm-hmm. with all this talk Diesel. about family. She morphs into <laughs> yes, Vin Diesel and Morphe. She <laughs> literally like, turns into time. her ancestors with a poor CGI family. effect. Family. Her friends' hands grow. Everybody fights everybody. Henry shoots the guy with a rocket launcher. <laughs> The white man uses a monster truck to and Grandma's cultural doing, appropriation spinning, to destroy spinning, the uh, backfists. Yeah. All simultaneous. <laughs> and then the war and then even worse, as if it wasn't already filmed so cringy and so awful. I'm like, all right, now here's a fight scene. We're gonna boom boom, you know, got nice brutal fucking moves and, and guns and shooting and missing, and then finally maybe taking on Fisk himself. Here comes Fisk. He goes, Rawr! and it goes like this. And then she goes, and, and then touch, she touches his heart. Power of love. And she goes, heart. And it glows. And Fisk goes, Rawr! and then he falls to his knees. And then she goes, power of the heart, glow, uh, heart, glow. And then uh, uses it on his head. So she goes from his heart. She heals his heart. And she heals his head. Goes into his mind. <laughs> and goes into his mind. She turns into 
Ghost Rider for a little bit. Yes. And we see a flashback of, you know, his childhood dramatic He's where his, his mom's bedroom, getting beat. And he hears his mom mm-hmm. being beat. And he's just there, oh, get me out of here. I hate this. I can't take it. It's like, she shows up. He's like, look, you need to let this go. You mm-hmm. need to let go of your anger and your pain and everything. Mm-hmm. And give me the, the hammer. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, no. He doesn't want to give her the hammer. Mm-hmm. And then so then she has to, I guess, she's like, well, I guess I can't. But here, here's something could have she, happened, she, but nothing happened. She then she stops. She fixed it. Another, a guy comes up. There's one one fist soldier with the gun. Stop it. She fixed his pain. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. She pain did. was not fixed. Yeah. No, his pain was not fixed. Then she was. peered into his pain. I'm telling you, motherfucker, Kingpin is not fixed. He's not a good guy now. I know he's not a good guy. Okay, but, like, but that yeah, was your plan. That scene, that's she what healed his heart. She healed his head, Joe. You, uh, does she have healing powers or not? She did something. She did something. He did scream, like, what did you do to me? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That, and that's yeah. what the audience was screaming because he says, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> and that's what I was saying. What did you do? Because they walk away. None of his guys shoot. He, he just oh, leaves. All the guns get immediately dropped. Yeah. All the guns disappear. Yeah. They vanish. And then the police show up, of course, too late. You know, this is going to jail because he killed all those people. Right. What are they going to do when they find all these mangled, murdered bodies under Biscuit's fucking monster truck tires? Mm -hmm. Biscuit's going to jail. You just murdered. Even if they have guns, you're not. You can't just murder somebody. Wasn't self defense. They weren't. But I guess. But Fisk is. No, they were in there. (laughs) All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's never brought well, that's, up again. Yeah. So then he gets in his car and he drives off. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, I guess he gets on his plane and we'll see him after the credits, but it's over. That's the show. That. What? That was the most anticlimactic, rushed ending ever. I don't even think Secret Wars was that rushed. I don't even think fucking. Uh, what's the other one? Panel. The fucking Miss Marvel was this rushed and this poorly done. Uh, b- that final battle. Can you even call it a final battle? No. She gave Grandma At the superpowers. Powwow? The grandma. She gave Grandma. Well, I guess oh. it's implied that Grandma already had superpowers. They all do. But Bonnie did not. Bonnie got it right then. The ladies uh, do. The ladies. Yeah. All of them? I think so. Right? Yeah, because it's in their blood. Yeah, because the mom had it, but she's gone. Yeah. But Grandma has she it and Bonnie she's has it. She's not gone, Joe. She showed up and she's a, talked she's to a and zombie. healed her heart. So then she rides her motorcycle um, and shows up for a barbecue family. This straight out of. That's why you said Yes, he was going to show up. He's like, oh, are you guys summon me? I'll at least go to barbecue. <laughs> yeah, let me <laughs> eat some of your food here. And then fucking Vin Diesel turns the corner. Everybody's all like, hey. Eating hot dogs, and she comes around the corner, and Vin Diesel's like family, and then Joe's version of Vin Diesel shows up. Like, oh, Kevin, <laughs> family. <laughs> That's what it bigger. felt like. It's just turning into bigger. a parody. Make yeah. me bigger. <laughs> Bad. And then that's it. It, it literally yeah. ends. It fades out, and it's and and uh, Marvel extends a gratitude to the Choctaw for uh, collaboration. That was and a great the Choctaw, part. like we, we I didn't, we didn't do that last part. I love those scenes we, we through everything. Don't but blame that on us. Uh, what scenes did you love? Oh, everything with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Choctaw. Yeah, yeah, everything with them, but everything else. Sucked. Yeah, like the flashbacks <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, I like that too. But uh, the ending was super, super bad. The credits roll. There is an after credits. Let's talk about it. It's uh, Let's keep it. Fisk will run for New York City Mayor because mm-hmm. in you know um, on the TV they said we need. A new candidate. We need a brawler. We need a brawler. Somebody, somebody that really understands our pain. Clean up this city. That's me. It was really bad. That's going to be the storyline for Daredevil, uh, Born Again, and Charlie, uh, with, which will, will hopefully be Mar- Marvel Spotlight, but cranked up another level. Because by the end of this, this promise of... Oh, you! We got to put this on Hulu, or oh, you got to change your settings because if your settings are on TVMA, then you're not gonna get to see it. There's like they hype. hype that yeah, shit up yeah, so exactly. bad. And by the end, did that matter at all in the final episode? No, 
So what does that mean? What did we get? What was the most brutal thing? The guy getting shot in the back three times, falling over, and his and blood running down his face because his head mm-hmm. is and what you see in the trailer lopsided. where he beats up the ice cream man. That's about and it. That's be- that I don't even consider brutal. That's just, well, no, Fisk I'm just saying doing for, his thing. But you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, Those it. were the two biggest brutalist things. A huge letdown. And that's why I said it ain't even a step. It ain't even. It's a baby step, if that. And because the dark, gritty thing, complete waste. Uh, Fisk was wasted. Not wasted because the best episode that he was in where he provided that tension was the best episode. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. But definitely not worth the watch. Not worth the watch. So let's go with final Three. verdicts on episode five. Oh. Your worst, uh, uh, the worst all. episode. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, well, damn, don't spoil it, Joe. <laughs> all right. What's this episode? Let me get the f- this episode and then two. <laughs> okay then, and then the it series was a three. Three, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, two. two. two this, was, this was a two. fucking two. Like this was a, had me rolling my eyes. I didn't like what the fuck was going on. Yeah, and the ending was a fucking laughable. Yeah, and the editing was shit because like so much of it was missing. Mm-hmm. Super short already. Right, five episodes. Yeah, so you can't make up for this the was, next three. It was all shit. <sighs> two. Alex. Yeah, I, I agree entirely. I, I, you know, the thing is, I think that on, if I'm being honest, this is probably a three. But because the last episode actually got my hopes up, it's like, how dare you? How dare you kind of get my hopes up that the finale is going to be competent and then you gave me that? So I'm going to down. I'm going to go you? down to a two. You can fuck off forever. Um, and uh, yeah, as a, on the whole, the series is a three. It is a bad series. It's not average. It's not below average. It is a bad series and you should not watch it. So before I uh, watched episode uh, five, in, in my head I was writing down scores, and I was like, okay, what did I give Hawkeye? I gave it a six out of ten. Upon reflection, it'd probably be more like a four, five, something like that. Miss mm-hmm. um, Marvel, I gave a four out of ten. I think She-Hulk, we gave like a three out of ten, two out of ten. I don't remember. I'll have to look that one up. Uh-huh. Uh, and Echo, I had wrote five out of ten. I was, I was like, okay, here we go. We might be going up. Nope. They fucked the landing. And honestly, when you take it on the whole, where where we were... (laughs) Take it on the whole. Not in the whole, Joe. When you take it in the hole, you get a series like Echo. Uh, Because we were doing average, then we went below average. Average again. Oh, we have hope. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's stupid as hell. And yeah. So I'm I'm also going to go with a two for the final episode. Incredibly disappointed. Anything that they had built up, they immediately wasted, rushed. Yes. CGI nonsense. The fucking effect where she turns, morphs into the, her ancestors look like it was straight out of the fucking 2000s. Is bad. I would have given it a three if Grandma started body slamming people. She kind of did. Yeah, I wanted She's her like, to. Bruh. No, she I wanted three, her like, like fucking. But yeah, but get. It was like <laughs> so being up people was like, I give you three. Fucking stupid. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what if she pulls out a Gatling gun? Oh God, no! no. All <laughs> you right. gotta use your powers. <laughs> so, uh, so my five. It's not a five. I'm gonna go down to. Uh, where, um, is this worse than Miss Marvel? I like the characters better. Most of, some of the her characters. Dad, her dad was great in Miss Marvel. Yeah. We love. Yeah, that, no, that's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. I like those characters, but I'm. I, I think the characters here. I like the grandpa better than her dad. Mm-hmm, about on the same level. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as as uh, Miss Marvel's well. dad. Um, Henry, I liked. I liked Echo. Off and on. But I could not. Off and on. I actually the, um, like Miss Marvel. She. I think she's a great actress. She does it. So, yeah, I think I like this less. Three out of ten. Three out of ten for, um, wow. Whip. Another when, when you had an opportunity, <laughs> you, you literally had an opportunity here. Um, this is, the audience is going to be nothing for this. Nobody was anticipating this. No. Nobody's even covering this. Our reviews are, on our views are going to be very low because nobody gives a shit. <laughs> nobody gives a shit. <laughs> and that's an indication of the greater MCU of what's happening. Interest is waning right now, and, and they need help. Give me Blade. 
I want to watch the Blade movie. You want to watch the? I heard they were having yeah, they're having all sorts of problems. Yeah. Problems. What did you? Marvel's hear? Marvel's having problems everywhere. I'm, I'm trying to uh, stall. Yeah, he wasn't like a, really a s- focal point, right? That's what. Yeah, I was they, 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 the writing is like he wasn't going to be necessarily the star of his own movie, and they're like, that's a massive problem because yeah, he, like, he absolutely fuck? needs to be. He's Found it. We gave She Hulk a three out of ten. Okay. See, we that's what I was stalling. See, for. we didn't like it. You know, mercifully, <laughs> don't talk to those fucking weirdos on the internet. Yeah, I mean, those people are going to hate it because they're going to hate it. But, I mean, it's... No, hate us for hating... She, for Oh, like, people on the internet Supposedly liking it. She-Hulk. It, even though we thought the first few episodes was a good setup, and then it went to shit, which was... But nobody bothers watching three, four, five, six episodes which deep you told of not our to. reviews. Oh, yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. That was different. Yeah, 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 yeah. go ahead. And, yeah, go ahead. P- people already are going to be upset. Like, there's going to be people defending it for, for no reason because they like the comic and they're like, oh, it's fine and they want to see more of it. <laughs> but on, like, if you're being honest, I don't think that this is very good TV. And mm-hmm. I don't think if... I, I just can't... Like, normally people are going to be like, oh, no, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, I really love this. I, I, I do not foresee understand. that. I don't foresee it. Oh, you don't foresee one. it this time? For this yeah, time. Yeah, if you do that, I'm going to be surprised. I can see, oh, I like little bits and pieces because, yeah. you know, the the... Lopez, some of the fights. Yeah. Fisk, not a single thing wrong with Fisk. Mm-hmm. The rest of it, though. Yeah. It was... The writers. And it, that's the thing that, that breaks my heart because it's like you were like, the, the writers suck. They don't deserve a job. Well, it turns out the writers is Ken Christensen, who pretty much wrote almost, well, at least contributed in every episode. He had other people writing almost every single episode. He had somebody else. So that's the problem then. Maybe see, getting some bad ideas. It's like, if you've got a single vision, man, give us your single vision yeah. because clearly it was uneven. Episode three, Alex is like, nah. Get, get the it. fuck out of here. I've got buddies You that need work. to be fired. And then episode four is like, hey, great job. Yeah. This is some excellent writing. Let's see more of this. Yeah. And then episode five, it's like, oh, well, what, did you maybe get your good stuff from Chantel M. Wells and did Justin Feldman, Josh Feldman? Those are the people that collaborated with Ken good on job, episode team. five or good four. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got a buddy that, you know, he's got his master's in film and then another person with a master's in film that are trying to get in the industry. And it's the problem is, like, it's everything about who you know, and then these people come in and they make garbage. Yes. And it's like... You want them gone. Yeah, it's like, if you think about it, like a sports team, it's like, look, you did you try out and you fucking... <laughs> you you booped the, the coach football. gets fired. You fell on the ball and it went in your butt and now you don't get to play football anymore. <laughs> like, you completely failed in the worst possible yeah. way. So it's like, you're off the team and we're going to let someone else get in there. But yeah. we keep letting these, like, these... Yeah. No talent people yeah. come back over and over and over. Yes. Alex Kurtzman had a job in Hollywood for 10 years. And you know why people like him? Yeah, I like he, Strange New Worlds. I can't. Yeah, but he I, failed just, for 10 years before Oh, yeah, that. yeah. No. It, 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 it's, the reason they had him in is he comes in under budget and people like him. It's like, oh, well, what about the writing? Oh, no, don't, don't. It's like, no, we, we care. As for. the audience, we care about the writing. And so yeah. it's like, I want these things to be written well because I have to cover them. It's my job. And it's yeah. and I'm tired, boss. <laughs> Damn, man, I was trying. I know, but I was trying to make the video short. This video, yeah. 50 minutes. I we have to combine it with the other one. Are we gonna make two? Vi- Maybe this has to be two videos. It's gonna be there. This ain't getting no views. Nobody gives a fuck about it. Well, well it we wasted one. our time, so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. So I I guess combine them into one yeah. one hour and 30 oh, minute thing. That's, that's long. All right. Anyways, <laughs> so. Uh, turns out, ultimately, Echo is a three out of ten, which we gave She-Hulk a three out of ten. But I don't, and and I know a lot of people wanted Echo to fail even before it even came out, and the, this MCU thing. Honestly, th- I didn't get that a lot here. I didn't get no. this whole MCU. Yes, there was the fe- the females were chosen for the bloodline, but that wasn't done poorly and annoyingly with some political message where it was annoying. If to me that wasn't annoying, I, I just think that there. Well, I just yeah. I I, what what we have a problem here with is the bad writing. So when all these people rail on about that, it's more about are your writers talented, right? You can do diversity well. You can do stories of um, Indian culture and these other, uh, you know, Choctaw culture and uh, female empowerment and female superheroes. You can do those well. But do you get the people who are talented enough or do they take shortcuts and they're lazy um, and inject, you know, annoying messages? Here, it was just a lack of writing talent and uh, effort. It really shows. And f- fighting choreography, 
and and final battles. That's why they didn't spend that much. And so set up. They're 40. It's, and it's everything. Nothing, 40 <laughs> is nothing for Disney. So 40 million? They're just like, like, whatever. Do whatever you want. That's like, that's like 10 million an episode. <laughs> what? Almost. This cost more than what? twice Game of Godzilla. Game of Thrones or something? Yeah, Godzilla was like... Minus one cost twice, uh, half as much as this movie. Oh, my God. Half as much as the series. <laughs> or the series. Yeah. <sighs> Heartbreaking. Three yeah. out of ten. Yeah. Bad. Echo sucks, and uh, I guess we we I I mean I was like, why did this exist? We could have used this as a vehicle for doing something creatively unique and different, like they did with the Werewolf series. Nope, more generic garbage in my opinion. And uh, I hope this doesn't bode. I hope this doesn't reflect on Daredevil: Born Again because I don't want you to fuck oh, up fuck Charlie. Up don't fuck up Daredevil. Don't fuck up Charlie Cox. But if you look at the forward, it's like, I'm sure Fisk is going to be big in that, and Charlie's big in that, and those two can carry. Look, the best episodes here, Fisk, you know? So we still have a little hope there. But I don't know, man. Future uh, Disney plus Marvel TV series, are you looking forward to them? No. After this? No. I don't know what they are. Uh Agatha. After yeah. what we've been seeing, no. I mean, I like that that actress in Agatha could be interesting, but I mean, I guess I'd have to see a trailer before I know what any, you know. But I'm not yeah, we'll do it. we'll do trailer reaction. Um, every upcoming uh, TV show, obviously, Daredevil: Born Again. Yeah. That's the one that we're we're on board for. Um, Iron Heart. Nope. That feels like an echo incoming. X Men '97. Hey, cartoons. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm down. Uh, Agatha: Coven of Chaos. We want to see a trailer. Spider-Man freshman year, probably not for us. That market animated series for younger kids. That's when he goes to school. Hmm. Marvel Zombies, I think that's also animated. <laughs> new animated series. Okay. Um, Zombies. And then an untitled Zombies. Wakanda series. So, All right, well, mm. that's what we have uh, to look forward to upcoming. And thank you guys so much for watching. Mm. And unfortunately, this was a failure. And we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.